<laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Ooh, that's loud. Ooh, that is loud. Come, come, stop that, stop that. There we go. Hello, yes, it is baby time. Uh-oh. It is baby time. Hi, everybody, how are we doing? I cannot believe it is already Thursday. It feels like this whole month has gone by so fast and it is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Not bad, good, good. And Finn, no worries, I hope that your studying goes well. You have a lot more technical things to uh, remember than I do. I actually, I spent, <laughs> I spent pretty much all day doing homework uh, today, so I wasn't able to go and get Eddie uh, some of the uh, birthday stuff that I wanted to get him. But that's okay, I will do it tomorrow. We'll have an extended birthday for him where he'll get like extra presents and stuff. It'll be good. Today though, well, over the past hour, uh, the little babies, who I'm named Artemis and Apollo because one is bright white and the other is dark, is like black. Why not birth week? Exactly. Might as well. He does deserve it, you're right. <laughs> um, but yeah, Artemis and Apollo have been wandering around uh, today, so Eddie has kept a pretty constant vigil over uh, by the window where he can see them, just because he just sits there, he, he meows and meows and meows and kind of hopes that they'll come hang out with him. <laughs> I, asked, I asked him if for his birthday he wants some siblings, and I think he probably does, but I can't do that. Oh, actually, speaking of, he is doing something he should not be doing, so... Uh, I will be right back. Man, no, <laughs> he was trying to eat uh, a cable that was currently plugged into the wall, so sorry for being a bad mother and keeping my son from electrocuting himself. <laughs> okay, sorry, one second. Okay. There we go. Let me just make sure I don't have anything ultra important. Simply unplug and let him have his chew toy. It's to his uh, water fountain though, so if that wire breaks, he doesn't have his water fountain anymore, and I think that would be the worst. Exceed, hello! Yes, tis his birthday. I've had, I've had the boy for one whole year. Which feels crazy. Uh, okay, as far as general announcements, uh, I don't have much. I do, uh, I will be doing just kind of a, a collab stream early Sunday before this, uh, whatever stream we end up doing on Sunday. I haven't worked out the logistics on that part yet, uh, but I will be over on uh, St. Powers' stream. Uh, he's just doing like general VTuber interviews, so I'll be over there uh, 12 PST on Sunday, but I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But other than that, that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, so pretty much what today's stream is going to be is I'm going to tell a story about uh, how I adopted Eddie and show some pictures from the first like couple weeks uh, that I had him because I took so many. And then we will become the cat and play some cat lateral damage. So let's go ahead and get over there. Where? Oh, I didn't map this to my uh, stream deck. Wonderful. Oh, well, here we go. Hello. New setup kind of. <laughs> uh, this this background image is from um, just literally a, a website called Wallpaper Access. I tried to reverse image search to see if I could find the artist, and it just came up with a million and one other like free wallpaper websites. But I like it. I would very much like to have a room like this. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted just a little bit of space. So I can show you guys some pictures. Okay, so, I actually have to start off with, <laughs> not even like a preamble, but I have to introduce you to another cat. It's 
also this boy. This boy right here is Neville. Um, and I, he is the reason that I have Eddie. <laughs> it is pretty much an entire, yeah, it's like a studio apartment. It's really cool. I would love, I would love a setup like this. Actually, one second, let me change up the music because I want, I want nice. <laughs> as much as I love Ben Drowned stuff, it's not the vibe for today. Let me just do, can I just get like some piano music? Because if I put on Deltarune, Big Shot is going to play, and then I'm going to get that stuck in my head. Here we go. There we go. Nice piano. Wonderful. <laughs> but I'd love it. I, I partially chose this because of all the plants. If I duck down, you can see all these plants. I wish I had that. And also the little cat, ca cat calendar over here. I love it. I would love to have this house. But yes, this little boy right here, who is not Edison, is Neville. Um... The reason why I show him is he is the reason that I have Eddie. Uh, this is a picture from the uh, Facebook page of the Cat Cafe that uh, I adopted Edison from. Um, I had followed them for like a long time and they posted a picture of this boy and uh, he looks kind of like my dad's cat Phil, who I love. Um, and I was just like, I love this cat. I love this boy. and. You know, it was in the middle of, of 2020, so stuff was happening, and I'd been contemplating getting a pet for a while. But I didn't want to ask my landlord, because I didn't want to be a bother, and when I moved in, he said no pets. Uh, but after I moved in, he got a girlfriend that had a dog, and so I was like, well, I wonder I wonder if, if rules have changed. Um, so as this day went on, I just kept thinking about Neville, and was like, oh man, I really like this cat. And I ended up having to go to the doctor that day for some weird random ear infection stuff that was happening. It was great. It was a wonderful time. And I was just sitting in the doctor's office being like, wow, I really want that cat. I really like that cat. And uh, so just slightly on impulse, I sent a text to my landlord thinking that he would say no. But... He was like, oh yeah, you've been, you know, a, a really good tenant, and as long as, you know, he's not, uh, scratching anything up or, like, marking his territory all over the place, cool, great. And so what I did is, uh, I went to the cat, the cat cafe's website, and, uh, they had a little thing where you could do just appointments, and so I set up an appointment, um, that was <laughs> very, very, uh, it was the latest one I could get, and that ended up being at like 4 p.m., and it was like 2.30 at this time, and the cat cafe was an hour away, and I was still in the middle of the doctor's office waiting to see the doctor. So it was partially me hoping, like, oh man, I really hope that this visit gets done soon so I can <laughs> go and acquire this cat. Um, but luckily, luckily I was able to, and I had to drive all the way over to the cat cafe. Um, but they were, they were lovely. Uh, but unfortunately, when I got there, uh, Neville had actually already been adopted. Uh, he'd, he had been there for two days, and he got adopted, like, immediately after, uh, they posted this picture. Which, who can, who can blame them? Look, look at that face. He's a very cute boy. Um, and the, the girls that worked there ended up telling me later that he was actually kind of in a kitten phase, so he was very high energy, and he also had... A few um, health things that were very high maintenance. Like you can kind of see his uh, his left eye is a little cloudy. Um, I I didn't get specifics, but yeah, he had some some eye issues that needed pretty consistent care. So they were like, yeah, it probably wouldn't have been a good fit for you in in the first place. And I was like, you know, that's okay. And I drove all the way here, so I'm gonna <laughs> look at all the cats. I'm gonna at least hang out with the cats and get a very large sugary drink. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of walked around and uh, introduced myself to all the cats, and up on like this big thing on the wall that was like all these different shelves for cats to jump on. What was 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 let's see, was this little boy? <laughs> this is the first picture I ever took of Edison. Um, he was hanging up on on the wall, and I went to go pet him. He went right up to me. And uh, also licked my hand, 
immediately, which if you if you are not familiar with cats, uh, usually they don't do that. So I was like, I am blessed by this cat, thank you. Um, but I introduced myself to some of the other cats and just kind of hung out. And mostly I was just talking to the girls there about their job and like, you know, their experiences working at a cat cafe and their experiences with animals in general. And they were all just very sweet and very nice. And I was just like, uh, I, I, the cat that I wanted is not here, but it's nice to hang out with cats at least. Um, and I had whew, like an hour. Yeah, they had like hour time slots. And it was close to the end of their day, so I didn't want to take up much of their time anyway. Uh, so it was getting kind of close to the end. Edison chose to be a Hanaki. Exactly! He genuinely did. Um, a after uh, he he kissed my hand, he didn't really follow me around. Um, but I did go kind of sit down and talk with the girls that were there. And I say girls because it was it was all... all uh, all women working there and they were all they were all so sweet one of them was the cafe owner and she was so cute she is everything i want to be when i grow up owning this cute little cat cafe she was so nice um but so i was just sitting and just kind of like playing with some of the cats and edison came up and jumped on my lap and the people that were there just kind of like they froze so i was like oh are we are we trying to teach him not to jump should i should i should I knock him off? Um, and like, uh, and the one of the girls looked at me and was like, um, no, actually, uh, he's been here for like three months and has not jumped on a single person. And so it is the most cliche thing. It is like the, the whole, everybody's like, oh, my pet chose me. But no, absolutely he did. <laughs> And I don't, I don't know how he was there for so long. Because he's, he's a sweet little boy. Um, they did tell me that he had actually been brought back previously. Uh, they, they had adopted him out to this family uh, that had other cats. And they were saying, like, oh, he didn't get along with their cats. He was, like, really antagonistic towards them. And as soon as uh, the people at the cafe told me that... I was like, oh, that's a lie, because through part of my visit there, I had been watching a kitten bully Edison. They had this little itty bitty kitten that had just barely come in, who had, who just wanted to fight. And Edison did not even try to swipe at this small child. <laughs> so I, I could not see him being actively antagonistic towards other cats and anyway i didn't have another cat it was just gonna be him so that's that's no big deal um but like all the time i think about what happened with that family just because they they told me that they um also found out that they like let him out um which i have no idea how they did that because um edison has not tried to leave the house at all since i brought him home except for one time when he got scared by a roomba and ran out the door. So I don't know what they did, but like they apparently let him out and then like lost him for a few days. So I don't know what happened to him during that time, but they like brought him back and they were like, yeah, we uh, we feel like we kind of messed up with, with that one. They probably did. Um, and they told me that he's like probably okay to be an indoor outdoor cat, but since I've gotten him, he has had negative interest in being an outdoor cat. So I have no idea what that was about. Um, and they were telling me, like, oh, yeah, he doesn't really talk a whole lot. He's really chill. Um, we think he might be part bangle, so maybe he'll be a little bit chatty. Um, no, this, the second I got him home, this boy has not shut up. I look at that boy and he yells at me. <laughs> like, when I went to go stop him from chewing on that cable, he just went, mur, 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 mur. Like, he's so, he's very conversational. Which is nice to have since it's just me in my apartment. But I do have some more pictures here. So yes, uh, it was a little bit of a spur of the moment decision. But I did go grab that boy immediately. Um, where's that one picture? I'm going to be kind of toggling through pictures. He does have so much to say all the time. Usually it is, feed me mother. Mother, I am starving. I am going to die. He couldn't say with all those other people around. I mean, maybe. Okay, so this one, this is, 
<laughs> when I got Edison in the car, um, they gave me this little pet carrier to carry him in. And I should say, you probably noticed from that last picture, he was fat when I got him. He's, he's, he's gained weight since he's come to live with me, but it's because he doesn't have, you know, as many exercise things and he's supremely more lazy. Um, but yeah, they gave me this little pet carrier uh, to put him in, so I had to carry this big 15-pound boy, uh, like a, a block. It was like a block and a half. I had to park kind of far away from the cafe. He was very, he was terrified. Also probably less competition, you're right, pun. Yeah, no, exceed. he was terrified. Um, bless his soul. <laughs> he, uh, whenever he's in the car, he does this meow that breaks my heart because it kind of sounds like he's crying and also that he's just scared. Um, I looked to see if I had some, uh, like, audio of it, but I don't. Um, but yeah, so they gave me this little, little cardboard pet carrier uh, that I, you know, brought him into my car and then I opened it so he could at least kind of put his head out because, you know, it's an hour-long drive to get back to my place. Um, and he screamed the whole way, the entire way home, just constantly, meh, 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 meh. And I was like, it's okay, I promise it's okay. Um, but because I had kind of gotten him as a spur-of-the-moment kind of thing, I did not have any cat supplies. So, and, and also because I had ran to the cat cafe immediately after leaving the doctor's office. So, um, what I ended up doing is I went to a pet store that's just down the street from where I currently live, uh, and I brought Edison in there with me inside the box, <laughs> just so I wasn't leaving him alone in a car, even though it wasn't hot or anything, I just didn't want to leave him alone. Um, but what happened <laughs> was, as you can see here, Boy tried to make a jailbreak. <laughs> um, he tore his way through the cardboard and stuck his head out. But lucky for me, his big fat body <laughs> was too wide so he could only get his head out. Um, but I did end up rushing out of the store just because, you know, I didn't have a leash or a collar on him or anything. And I didn't want him <laughs> leaping out of this box. Uh but he seemed to, to relax a little bit in the store once he could kind of see what was going on. But we got we got him some general stuff and everything and headed home. And I was super prepared for there to be, like, a, ver a, a an adjustment period, obviously. You know, cats are skittish a little bit by nature. They, they do stuff to protect themselves because they are fragile little beings. Um, so I expected to, like, not see this cat for, like, the rest of the day once I brought him home. So I, I let him out, I started kind of setting up his food and stuff, and he immediately disappeared. I think that he went, like, under the couch or something. Um, so I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's fine. Um, and then I went out and came back, and he had gone up to his, his food bowl, and I was like, oh, good, okay, he's eating. That's nice, that's good. This was also during the time where he, uh... He would eat dry food. Now he thinks he is too good for it and will not eat it. But at the time, uh, and you can also see the litter box off to the side there. That was way too small for him. I ended up having to uh, just get a whole new one. It was great. Um, <laughs> but I was like, oh, wonderful. Great. Cool, cool, cool. So he's at least comfortable enough to eat. Even when I'm standing right there, he's munching. Um, I do spoil him consistently. That that has not stopped at all. Um, but like I, I ended up getting... I, I asked the ladies at the cafe kind of what stuff they used. Like as far as litter and food and everything. And I tried to get what he had there so he was a little bit more comfortable. Um, but like right around this time... <laughs> he does deserve it, you're right. Uh, but right around this time um, was when I hit crisis. Like anxiety panic mode because I was like oh no what if I what if I actually cannot take care of this cat <laughs> I did this kind of as a spur of the moment thing what if I can't take care of this cat um because actually like years and years and years ago I did end up having to give up uh, a dog that I had that I couldn't take care of um and that was just because like financially I couldn't afford it and uh, I was living in a space that was not good for that dog so I did end up having to give him up, and it was, it, it's like one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. 
So I was like, oh, I really, I really don't want to do that again. What if I'm a bad mom? What if I can't do it? Um, and like, what if he's not happy and all that stuff? And what happened as I was kind of sitting on the floor freaking out, um, Edison had gone into hiding for another second, but he came right out, like as I was sitting on the floor and was like, pets? Pets, mother? <laughs> Um, and he just kind of sat with me and let me pet him for a little bit. And I will not lie in that I cried very hard. <laughs> I was just like, oh, he's, he's like, he's happy. Um, and he at least likes me enough that, uh, right away he's, he's coming and letting me interact with him and stuff. Um, and after that, those, like, two periods where he disappeared for a second, no, no adjustment issues. He was just... <laughs> out and around like he owned the place which let's be fair he does but um see what other pictures do i have i have a lot of like first pictures of him <laughs> um looking back at these it's, it's cute it's cute memories like um so as i've talked uh getting live updates oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i was uh live live texting the discord about stuff um stuff with him and a lot of these are pictures from that like frantic text conversation um but yeah I've, ta I've talked before about how i spend most of my time in bed um so obviously this was kind of a big day for me and i was like oh i need to go lie down i need to go lie down um and immediately after i did edison just came and sat right next to me and was like sweet i'm here now yeah yeah this is this is where i exist um and i swear he did not stop purring like the first week that he was there. It was so sweet. Um, like, where's, where's... I have another one. Where did that one go? Where did that one go? Yeah, here are just some more pictures from that first night. This is when I learned that Edison likes to sleep upside down. Which, um, Finn... <laughs> Finn made me cry a little bit, um... And I, uh, while I was grabbing these uh, pictures, I even saw the text that they said. Uh, it was they said, "quote, not to make you cry or anything," which I still did. But uh, a cat turning upside down like that is a is a huge display of trust. And so him doing that the first night that he was with me, ugh. yeah, no, I cried a lot. I cried a lot the first like three months, I think, after I got Eddie. Uh, just because I had constant crises of like, I am a bad mother. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing well. Um, let's see, where's some other ones here? But, like, everything's fine. He's, he's not had any health issues outside of him being insanely fat. <laughs> but we're working on it. Um, like, oh, this one's not at the right angle, but, yeah, he's, always done like this whole thing where he'll lean into my hand for scritches like pretty much how he was when he got home is how he's always been which is really really nice um one <laughs> immediate downside is i uh this was in the middle of my plant collecting phase as well so i had these plants on my windowsill and i was like oh oh no um i'm gonna i'm gonna need to move those <laughs> um so I did, and I was like, oh yeah, he can have a little perch. That's all good. That's all cool. Like, got this one after he, after I moved the plants. He was super, super chill. But then, where, where's the picture? Where's the picture? Where's it? Where, da, 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 da. Um, I found out he can also jump on the windowsill that I moved the plants to. <laughs> Senti, hello. Thank you for the host. I'm telling my story about when I brought Eddie home. Um... But yeah, so yeah, uh, he immediately... How many pots? He has not broken a single thing. <laughs> Hello! Yeah, he has never showed any interest in any of my plants, which is good because um, that little blue pot that's right next to him is a pothos plant. Um, her name is Cat. Uh, she... <laughs> I'm just realizing the funniness of that. Um, it's, it's short for Catherine. Uh, but yeah, the pothoses are, are toxic to cats, so I was like, oh, oh no, if he if he gets interested in that, that's not good. Um, but he's never tried to eat any of my plants. Like, I have a, uh, a 
prayer prayer plant, I think is what it's called. His name's Gabriel. He cannot be stopped. Um, and he just keeps like growing outwards and he's almost touching the floor right now and Eddie does not care. Yeah, he's never tried to interact with them. He's never broken anything. Like, honestly, he's been a model son outside of, like, him trying to capitalize- Well, not capitalize, trying to, like, ruin my sleep. <laughs> I remember the first couple of weeks, it was it was rough just because I didn't know- Well, like, we needed to figure out a schedule for feeding him and stuff, right? And, uh, he would get zoomies at, like, 2 a.m. His tantrums, yes, there were, there were tantrums, um- he had a phase where he would not stop, like, clawing at the windows, which he'll still do sometimes, but it's now it's in a way to get my attention, because he knows if he does it, I'll be like, hey, please stop scratching the windows, please. I rent this place. <laughs> you can't scratch up the windows. Um, yeah, he's never, he's never really broken anything, and that's, I've, I really, I really lucked out with that. Um, oh, where's the other? So here's some more pictures of Hal. <laughs> He just does this all the time, and he has always done it, which is, <laughs> he just, he just will invert and go to sleep. <laughs> so he'll always fall asleep like this. Looking at these pictures now, I, I can absolutely see all like the weight that he's gained, but he actually, it's actually not that bad. Especially, he's, he's been losing, he's losing some weight, he's lost like a pound, he's doing okay. Oh, <laughs> This picture is one of my favorites. This is a different day, but um, the reason why I love it is because I heard him playing with that little mouse toy, um, and he was, like, being a vicious attacker, and I went to go grab my phone so I could go get a video of him being, you know, a vicious hunter, and by the time I came back, <laughs> he was already asleep like this. <laughs> So he had he had gotten bored and immediately went to sleep. And he he has always been like that. He loves those little mouse toys. Pawn sent him a little gray one of that exact same mouse toy, and he actually likes that one better for some reason. <laughs> he he has so many toys. I didn't I didn't grab a picture of his uh his little toy box, but he has a lot. You can actually see in the background of this picture there's the thing that's like multicolored kind of over by the door that is the caterpillar or the peeler as i call it sometimes which is his favorite thing in the whole wide world um like that that little that little, the little peeler is his favorite thing um but he has like dozen well not a dozen he has how many how many teasers do you have edison let me i can see him from here one two three he has six different teasers right now <laughs> Cats like me because they know I hate. That's that's how it is with a lot of animals, Pond. They they sense, they sense that kind of thing, and they'll they'll either be like, "Oh, I hate you," or we will now be best friends. <laughs> they Finn's right. Yes, they know that you're mom material, or they know that they can just manipulate you and get stuff out of you, um, which is kind of how. No, that's not how my dad's cat was. Phil hates everyone except for me. <laughs> I wish I had some pictures of Phil because yeah, that cat. Um, Hates, hates everyone and everything. Except for me. <laughs> but he's also an old man, so he he would not have really done very well to a move. Um, otherwise, I would have probably just adopted Philip. <laughs> see, what other little... I know I had some other stories. Oh! Here's the first time I caught him doing the shrimp thing. He doesn't do this as much anymore. But he, he is a huge fan of just curling in on himself. First time I found him doing this his little sleep blip. Um, which is, this is also a thing he does all the time. You can see one tooth. That one tooth is constantly making an appearance. <laughs> um, oh, and this. So he has not done this since this moment. But, um, so... If I close my bathroom door, he will throw a tantrum. Um, especially if I'm, like, in there for what he considers is too long. He'll, like, scratch at the door and, like, start pawing under the door and stuff. So I tend to leave it open. Um, and so I was literally just in the bathroom and he just sat down and was staring at me. I was like, I was like, what, what do you want? And he started looking at the sink and I was like, don't do it. Do not jump in the sink. That's not a place for you. Don't do it. And... <laughs> 
<laughs> he immediately jumped up, but he has never done it since. He has no interest in the sink. Um, like, I, I know I had a friend whose cat really liked them to leave kind of the sink on so they had running water. So I was like, oh, well, maybe he wants that. No, he doesn't care. I think he just wanted to spite me in this moment. Which, honestly, is very true. Oh, <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken of him. <laughs> there, is not, there is not a thought. There is not a thought in that, in that boy's head. Let me actually, one second. One second, I have some music to accompany this. Let me find it. This is, so... There's always debate about what song plays in Edison's very, very vacant head. Um, but this is, this is the one I always think of because um, I have a friend that uses this as like background music a lot. So all the time I just think of this. Oh. <laughs> just elevator music behind those eyes. <laughs> This song, this song haunts my dreams a little bit. My my friend will put that on in the background uh, and wait to see how long it takes people to realize that the song is looping. He'll just put it on repeat forever. Uh, but one day that came back to bite him in the butt when um, he was playing it on his Alexa and his Alexa had a glitch in it and wouldn't stop playing it. <laughs> so he was trapped. <laughs> he was trapped by, by his own... Uh, his own prank. But yes, I always think about that whenever... Either that or um, the Wii... I think it's the shop music? I think? Oh no, it's the, the Me Channel music. Which I'm sure everybody... At least I think that's what this one is. Yes. <laughs> uh... I, I have a lot of fun um, looking at pictures of Edison with a vacant face and then putting different uh, music behind it. Here's another one that's very good for that. <laughs> As you can see, he's, play Oop, he's playing with the peeler. This one, this one is very uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, though. I think when I was, when I was grabbing the... Uh, when I was grabbing the picture, Cerise said uh, that this is the face of someone who... Uh, who didn't think they would get this far, and that's absolutely true, but like... <laughs> I wish I could slow zoom on the picture. It'd be, uh, it'd be like ten times funnier. But yeah, I've- all the pictures that I take are either like these really cute things, or they're very, um silly oh uh this is one of the first uh cat things i bought him i didn't take a picture of his cat tree um but edison's cat tree is as tall as i am but also i bought him this hammock <laughs> that i thought he would hate but he actually uses all the time still well kind of he doesn't fit in it as well anymore <laughs> gotta lose weight oh in that exact same weekend um I had to film a thing for a cinematography class, so I had a very, 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 very high-resolution camera. So obviously I had to use that to take pictures of my cat. Oh, one second, let me rotate these, because these are all horizontal. Woo! Oh, no, oh, wrong way. Eh? There we go. <laughs> so yes, me, me uh, messing with aperture settings and just taking constant pictures of this cat. I think I took... Uh, something like 60 pictures, just trying to figure out the settings on the camera and ha trying to figure out the, uh, the focal length and all that, which is great fun. You can see here he needed his claws trimmed. He did not enjoy, uh, me filming that whole weekend. I had a lot of, like, lighting things set up, um, and he, he was very, very anxious. Like, in this picture right here, you can see that there's a tripod oop rotate this one there's a tripod right behind him 
and he seemed he seemed like he was very stressed out by by it being there and there was there's another light off to the side but yeah he was not happy with that he he's always been kind of sensitive to a very cluttered space so he's a good like alarm system for if the apartment is getting too messy uh if he ever just starts you know meowing at me for no reason i'm like oh is it too messy for you do i need to clean the answer is usually yes <laughs> See, only have a couple more of these pictures here. Oh, ah! Once again, I turned it the wrong way. I remember when I was taking these pictures, I had to get this camera back to my school in like forty-five minutes. But I was like, no, please, let me take more pictures of my cat. Let me take pictures of him, please. <laughs> Oh, and then la last couple of things I have. I did end up um, taking him to the vet, like, right at the end of that first week. Because, like I said, I was a paranoid mama. And, um, <laughs> uh, and just that's good, good practice. But this was his old harness that did not fit him. Oh, oh, lord. Eh. Wow, I have a 50, I have a 50-50 chance of guessing the right rotation and I guess wrong every time. But yeah, this little this little harness was way too small for him, but it was the only one that the pet store had because it was in the middle of, you know, stuff being bad. So, so he has this uh, very, very handsome, too tight harness. Uh, and he just, he just resigned himself to his fate, really, once I put that on him. He was a good boy, though. Uh, the vet tech... Um, when I took him to the vet, I don't think the vet tech wanted to give him back. Like, when I got there to pick him up, she was just holding him and, like, cooing at him and be and just being so sweet. And she was like, he's so handsome and he's so good. He's such a good boy. And I was like, yeah, no, I know. Absolutely, I know. Uh, and at this time, actually, I did end up... Uh, it's not active anymore, but I did have an Instagram for Edison. Uh... And let me say, I have had, like, a semi, like, not not a professional, professional thing. Highest seal of approval possible. Yes. Yeah, she was so, she was so nice. Um, yeah, she, she loved him to death. And that, that was when I had to drop him off because they weren't letting, you know, just general people come in because of reasons. So I literally, I remember I was uh, in the same parking lot as the, um, as the vet was a, a Lowe's hardware store. And so I literally was just circling their plants section, just nervously waiting for them to tell me I could come pick him up. But they said, yeah, he was he had no health problems besides being fat. <laughs> and he's only gotten more fat. Um, but yeah, he's he's been in, in very good health, surprisingly. Because I know I know some cats can be a little bit um, can have some health problems, especially when you move them to a new place. They're they're sensitive beings. But he's he's been there have been surprisingly few problems. I, like the only complaint that I've really ever had about Edison is like there there are certain times where he will just not let me sleep, and I I get very like I get very very irritable without enough sleep. So that's not the best. Like he'll even see he'll let me just squish his whole toe beans, and he doesn't care. He doesn't respond. Um, he used to kind of pitch a little bit of a fit when I was trying to trim his, trim his nails, but now he just kind of looks at me and makes very, very sad noises. And sometimes I feel a little bit bad about it. See, I think this is the last... Yeah, this is the only other picture that I have, but yeah, he's been good. I, I honestly cannot believe it's been a whole year since I got this boy. Oh, I was talking about my the, the Instagram. Um, yeah, so I've, I've had uh, cosplay instagram that also is not really active anymore i I've, I've never been good at instagram but i had that instagram for like five years six years very long time and i never got contacted by anybody to do like um promotional stuff or brand ambassador stuff edison had his instagram for three days and i got two separate uh offers from two different companies being like do you want stuff to be like a brand ambassador for for us um so needless to say my cat is way more popular on instagram than i am but 
his 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 profile is is long dead because I'm not I'm not good at Instagram and I don't think I ever will be. But yeah, that's the whole Eddie story. Um, yeah, honestly, it's not super eventful just because he's been the the most chill boy in the world. Really, he's he's a brat and he's picky. But overall, like I'm I'm very lucky to have him, and he's the star of the channel for for a reason. But yes, so. Now that we've talked about the cat, let us become the cat. Let me switch over here and we'll start to play a little bit of cat lateral damage. Oh, actually, let me do a quick, a quick BRB uh, and just run an ad really quickly just while I get stuff set up over here. So I will be all right back. Oh, now where am I? What? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Hello. Why am I so big? What's happening? <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm super glad that for some reason I cannot mute my mic. OBS. <laughs> Rise. Yeah, no, um, OBS has decided I no longer have the ability to mute my mic. I do not know why. <laughs> But yeah, um, I, I didn't uh, go to break just because um, just because I had to, like, cough or anything. I did genuinely have to do something. But, like, <laughs> uh, oh, like, OBS is entirely stuck where it's at right now. That's so cool. I'm so happy about that. Because that means I can't get to my desktop <laughs> to click on the game. Um, let me go a roundabout way. Where's my Steam library? I think I still have that. Yes. Where are you? Okay. Now let us... Let us do cat. I just... I don't want to do it in VR. I just want to be cat. Please and thank you. Oh, there we go. Hey! Oh, that's... Loud. So if you've never played this game before... Quieter, please. Uh, literally, the whole game is you are a cat and you you knock down you knock things onto the ground <laughs> oh gosh okay there we go oh my gosh if i click okay so if i click anywhere besides this exact area the sound goes off that's cool it is pretty much a cat simul simulator yep it's very cute um the only reason i know about it is it's why is it so loud quiet Feels like it didn't do much. One second, let me see if I can access my audio settings, maybe? 
just to turn down for me at least. There we go. Maybe. Yes, better. But yes, we are just being cats. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if I'd be able to access my volume mixer since OBS is uh, frozen in place over my main monitor right now, but that's, that's fine. It's fine. I am not allowed to do stuff. Uh... Oh. Okay, apparently I have to do the tour. Okay, let's learn how to play. <laughs> I love this very polygonal cat. Knock objects onto the floor. I could do that. Jump. Oh, wow, I have mad hops. Okay, whoop. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Bonk. Okay, this is actually very fun. <laughs> Immediately this is fun. But yeah, I only know about this game because um, Griffin and Justin McElroy played it for Polygon once. Um... And Justin very, very much wanted to be uh, done with the Let's Play, and Griffin would not let him do it. <laughs> Constantly trapped in cat lateral damage. It's a little bit floaty, but it is kind of fun. Do I- can I just like, blah? <gasps> yeah! Nippy! Oh, I love, I love hearing people's names for their pets. Pe people choose such fun names for their pets and sometimes they have like really fun reasons behind it sometimes they are just like this is what i thought they looked like in terms of name and i just i love that that was that was one of the things that um i really liked about my old job is that i would see a lot of animals okay it says there's another pot around here oh it's up here oh okay okay i gotcha whoop and whoop okay Oh man, if it, it's a game about jumping and I am notoriously bad at jumping. Platformers are not my friend. Break? Yay! <laughs> okay, jump in the box to continue. Okay, I want to see if I can just like one shot. Friend has a sweetest dog named Nippy. That's Oh, that's cute. Oh man, I want to jump right into the box. It's fine. Oh, that's a very large box. I name my dogs black in three different languages. Hey, you know what? You have a theme and are consistent. It works. Okay. Those pesky humans took away my favorite toy. Time to make a mess. Okay. 300 objects? Okay. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I need to address the devil cat. No. Let me see it. Okay. Last try, last try. Okay, okay. No, no, what, what? Let me see, let me see it. I wanna see this cat. I wanna see this cat. Vada, Veda? No, it's upside down. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Like I said, yeah, controls are a little bit floaty, so it's a little bit weird. Didn't get to name my older... Oh, I didn't know Cash was named after Johnny Cash. That that makes sense, actually. That makes sense, though. <laughs> what is it? Big March... What are you? A hanger? Event? What? What? Where? Huh? Where? What? Huh? Where- what? Next room? What? Ah! Please, wait, hmm? What? 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 Where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh! Do I have to jump in the box? What is this? What is this? What am I doing? I want it, please? <laughs> He's not named- uh-oh. Aw, oh, man. Okay, that's fine. <gasps> wait, can I hit this? Yeah! Eddie has one of these, but it's like a tower of them. Oh. How do I... Oh, okay, so I just have to break it. Jump increased. Okay. Oh, <gasps> dogs! Emmy and Oscar. Very cute. And this is... <gasps> Ewok! I love that one. 
I love Ewok. What? Oh, is this a tunnel that I can go through? Yeah! That gets me an upgrade? Okay. I don't know what... Oh. Yeah, Robin? Oh, okay. Angela was named after, after a song about the devil. Yeah, he was named after Year Zero, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> I just want- I- I feel kind of bad for knocking a, a SNES to the ground, but like... Bah! No! Move! Get off of here! Oh wow, okay, this is interesting. <laughs> the console mass- yeah, I feel- <laughs> A very literal console war. No, everybody, everybody off the table! Off the table, we're getting to the floor. We're getting to the floor. Yeah! Boop, boop. Everybody. Everybody off. <laughs> no. I'm throwing a tantrum. No one can be up here. I'm having a fit. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> I'm angry. Get off of here. I'm angry. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> I love it indie games that are just like a little bit imprecise like this because then you get kind of funny stuff happening <gasps> can i knock over this tv ja, whole tv yeah baby ha <laughs> ha 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 chaos carnage come on now you everybody everybody I contemplated leaving you as a survivor, but no. Everybody off. <gasps> oh no! What does that mean? What does power outage mean? Can I knock you over? Blah! Whoa. I didn't even know what happened there. <laughs> Fucked up in evil moments, yes. The the most evil I'll be is is a cat knocking some stuff off of the off of a desk. What is this? What is this? SWAT increased. Okay, am I- have I become stronger? Am I now strong? <gasps> Let's break some plates, baby! Oh, other way. Other way. Other one. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Are you breaking? No? Wow, one of you broke. Come on! No! Break! Break. Get out of here! Get out of here! Whoop. <laughs> I am very glad that I do not have a cat like this. I know some cats are like- I wonder- Oh, <laughs> I should tell- Oh, I'm sorry, can I get that a- Oh, yeah! <laughs> Pawn, that was perfectly timed with that bonk! I was like, what? Did that pan make a bonk noise? <laughs> that pan didn't make the bonk noise, but Pawn made the bonk noise. Okay, I see- Get- Everybody off! Off of here! Off of here! Off of here! Go away! Go away! Away with you! Away! 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 Yay! Oh! Am I in the oven? I'm in the oven. Oh no! I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I want to hood stuff off high places. Ooh! Wine glass! Perfect! Yes! Who who has their their dishes... Like, who has all this stuff set up all the time? Nobody's home. Why would you have these out? These are gonna get dusty. What? I'm timed? I'm being timed on this? <laughs> ah! Am I gonna fail the first level of collateral damage? Maybe they were gonna have any a party? Not anymore! <laughs> I didn't notice I was being timed! Oh, gosh. Ah! I'm gonna fail the first level. Oh no! Have you, have you, <laughs> cat cornerback? <laughs> Honestly, would love to see uh, cat sports. <laughs> okay, let me try that one more time. Let's try it again. 
Objective mode. <gasps> oh, I didn't know there were other cats. Let's go with let's go with Will. Your eyes are a little bit off center, buddy. I love you. Oh man, my uh my friend, I will say, wet food is gross. My wet food is gross. Time to make a mess. Oh man, that's that's Edison a little bit. Because not only is he picky and won't eat dry food, but sometimes some of the wet food I give him, he's like, no, I don't want this particular kind. How dare you? How dare you do this to me? Make me eat this one that, I, that tastes slightly different than the other one. That's so terrible. That, that, the whole week of Edison deciding that he wasn't eating dry food anymore was t fun. Just because, you know, uh, he, he was being like, Mother, I'm starving, Mother! While he had a full bowl of dry food right next to him. As if he expected some sympathy from me. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go! Off! All of you, all of you, there's apparently a time limit, I've learned that now. We're going! Everybody off! Everybody off! Away with you! Whoop! -a. Oh! <gasps> Who's this? Bluebell! Oh, I love that name for a cat. Bluebell! I do remember one time, um, Angela is very wary of new treats. That's interesting. Ah! Event. Moon gravity. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! No, back up, everybody! <laughs> Hover cat. <laughs> Amazing. Wah! <gasps> ah! Too high up, too high up. Too much, too much jumps. Too much jumps. Too many hops. Oh, but now these aren't gonna break because it's the moon. Where's Jesse? Jesse needs to tell me how to break things with moon gravity. Jesse, how do you cause chaos and destruction w while with in low gravity, please? Tell me. Oh, so now my goal is 420? Ayyyy! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Oh, I'm still going up. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Voila! Voila! <laughs> it is kind of fun to watch it fall in slow motion, though, isn't it? Let's see. Goodbye! Oh, moon gravity's gone? Okay. That was a fast minute. Whoop! Okay, now, back to where I was with this dishware. You're all fools. <laughs> for setting this out and then leaving the house. Fido? That seems kind of mean to name a cat Fido. What is even the origins of the name Fido, actually? Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I don't know. It feels like it might be Greek? That's what I feel in my bones, is like... Something Greco-Roman, <laughs> but I may be very wrong. <laughs> please, 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 please. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. I'm thinking. I might just see if I can't complete like one level of this and then maybe switch to another game. I've been kind of feeling playing Stardew lately, because you know it's been like quite a bit since I played it, so. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think that I can play this for, you know, several hours. <laughs> so I will cause... Destruction for one level. And then we'll do, we'll do some Stardew. Bonk, bonk. <gasps> Goodbye, plants. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not taking good care of my plants in real life right now either. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's Latin for to trust. Oh, that's cute, actually. That being like like a, a default name for, for dogs is very cute. Bonk. Okay, I want to knock the TV onto the ground again. Oh, who are you? Dakota! Cute. Come here. I'm knocking your TV over. Oh, I said earlier that Edison hasn't, like, you know, attacked anything in the house. That's a little bit of a lie. Um, if he sees, like, birds and stuff on TV or on, like, my computer, he will try to, like, hit them. 
Forest Princess not- Right now, I'm not good at taking care of my plants. I'm, I'm having a, a, a big fatigue time, so- And my plants are in a different room than my bedroom currently. Uh, because I don't have a whole lot of light in here, so it's not good for plants. Oh, power up! I want it! I want it! I want it! Gimme, 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 gimme! What's that? Swat Max. Yeah. Oh? Oh wow, I hit very fast. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Maximum punch! Whoa! Whoa! Sorry, sorry, bamboo. But I, I will say though, most of my plants are still alive, just um I'm just not as diligent at watering them as I have been in the past. They're doing okay though. My basil plant, Solomon, is thriving for no reason. I don't know why he's doing okay. And I do have a couple of desert plants that I don't think I could do anything to. I say that as I have killed um, some desert plants in the past, but that, that was also through just like general neglect. <laughs> Meow! Yay! Oh man, I only have four minutes left to knock stuff down. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Where? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I stuck in something? I'm stuck in something. <laughs> Can I open the fridge? Let me open the fridge. <gasps> yeah! Ha ha ha! Oh man, this is something Edison wishes he could do. Oh, Edison would live in the fridge if he could. That poor food-driven boy. <laughs> Yes! Okay, whoop! Whoop! Oh, get out of here, get out of here! Whoop! Bye! <laughs> if my food tastes gross, you don't get to eat either? Pretty much! The cat, the cat equivalent of, of I didn't get no sleep because of y'all, now y'all couldn't get no sleep because of me. Everybody off of here. Why would you put a bamboo plant up this high? It's fine. <laughs> eh, eh, be, 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 eh. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's see about knocking down these books. Books? Books? Eh, nee, nee. What? Where? Event where? Where at? Where? Huh? What? Huh? Uh, what's that? I have a force field? What does that do? Does, it, does that just mean I, I... Oh, I force things... Okay. <gasps> Miss Hanaki! <laughs> Cerise, you are correct. Everybody off! Ha-ha! <gasps> yeah! I will say that Edison does not uh, mess around with toilet paper, really, either. He will try to eat Q-tips, though. Constantly, I find him trying to eat Q-tips. <gasps> oh. Can I get up to this big one? Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah, uh, I don't have a whole lot of time left. Everybody off! Everybody off! No! <laughs> I'm not gonna fail at a level of cat lateral damage twice. No! No! All of you, go away. <laughs> out of here, out of here, onto the floor. Okay. Is there any other, like, oh, did, do you guys not count because you're not on the floor? Huh, okay. Oh, more books. Yay, books, come here. Oh, oh, I did actually land on the chair. Did I land on the, okay, yes, I'm on the chair. Can I get up there? Yes, okay. Let's go! Everybody! I'm on a tirade! Come on, work with me! Come on, guys! I'm trying to make some people angry. I need everybody's help. Oh? What? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Robo, get out of here. All of you. Blah. Oh man, I'm not gonna pass this one either. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Fido, what do I 
do? <laughs> ah! Nope. Now we're not making it. We're not making it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that Kate? Was that cat's name Carmen San Manteo? <laughs> Thank you, Pun. Okay. I'm gonna try it one more time, and I think that'll be it. Oh, this one looks kind of like Eddie. Are the different cats different difficulties? That's a good question. It doesn't really say. <gasps> oh, but I love Rufus. Oh, but I love Rufus. Oh, I didn't finish telling the story. I have, I have a I cat sit for a friend's cats, and one of them, his name is Link, and he is cross-eyed, and I love him so much. I love Link so much. He's a good boy. He's he's a very gentle soul, <laughs> which which is good contrast to his brother George, who hates everything. Get out of here. I've honestly I've met more like loving, like very very loving, like gentle cats than I've met you know bastard asshole cats. But I don't know if it's because uh, animals have a tendency to be nice to me. Or, or if cat stereotypes are only vaguely correct. Whoop. <gasps> Scratching post? Yes! Oh, that just makes- that just reminds me that I need to get a new scratching post for Eddie. He's kind of shredded through the two that he has. Eh. Whoa, what? Whoa! What? What? Let's go! You're very- I- I am very lucky. <gasps> Cat grass! It's mine! It's mine! Whoa! Whoa! I'm getting upgrades left, right, and center right now. What's happening? Cats can be very terrible and assholes. And that's what I hear from, like, everybody- well, and, like, my dad's cat, Phil, did hate me for, like, seven or eight whole years <laughs> i don't i don't know what happened with phil what made him like suddenly like me oh i knocked out a picture of a cat named miku and a cat named kratos <laughs> what i want to see miku and kratos i think they're more in common with people i think the uh they're more common with people who are not actually doing a great job of making their cat happy you know what that's true that, that can make sense. Because, like, yeah, cats are generally low-maintenance. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, they're generally low-maintenance, but, like, they still, like, they still need to be played with or have stuff to play with. Um, and they need, like, exercise and they need, you know, enrichment. Uh, I have a little um, Edison's water fountain. Oh, is this? Who, who are you? Miku! Oh, so pretty. Um, yeah, the, the box that, uh, Edison's water fountain came in, um, also was like a little puzzle thing, like you cut little holes out of it and you can put treats in there and they can hunt for treats. And I use that for him quite a bit so that he gets like some, you know, mental exercise. And usually whenever I do it, um, he'll sit next to the box for a little bit and meow at me like, mother, there are treats in there, help me! Help me get them! And I usually will just, like, shout enrichment at him. <laughs> just he'll sit me like, Meow? Man, the tre treats? Can I get the treats? And I'll just go, Enrichment, Eddie! It's enrichment you're supposed to learn! Kind of like how if you leave a dog cooped up with no enrichment, he tears up your living room and pees on your carpet. Yeah, that's that's kind of the situation that, that happened with the, with the dog that I, I ended up having to give up. Because he was like a lab mix. Um... And he, uh, he needed, you know, a lot of space, and I lived in a very small apartment. I think, I think it was like a less, less than 500 square foot apartment. Um, and that was also when I was working at Netflix, when I was working, well, technically I worked 10 hour shifts, but with like my lunch and my commute, I was gone like 13 hours a day on days that I worked. And then, um, on like my days off, I had so much that I had to do that I didn't really have time to, like, walk him or anything, so it, it, it wasn't fair to him. And that that's something that, like, 
is is hard to admit, but like, I'm sorry, Keith Stone. I love it when cats have first and last names. I love it when pets in general have first and last names. Um, like my two dogs growing up had middle names. I don't remember what they were though because my dad, uh, my dad gave them their middle names. I gave them the first name and he gave them the middle names. Uh, what did I do with Netflix? I was just um, in their customer service. I was in their call center for quite some time. Um, I, I was I was a very high performing um, person in the call center, and like the people that I worked with, I've never worked with a better group of people. Like I I will straight up say that the people that work with Netflix, like they do a really good job about hiring good people and also having a very very good competitive wage. Um, because in the area that I'm at, we do have a lot of call centers because. Uh, we, we have a neutral accent, um, so and, and also just Utah is known for being aggressively polite. Um, so we're, we're good candidates for, uh, <laughs> for call centers. Um, but Netflix like had super competitive pay at the time and it actually helped um, raise the, the, the pay for pretty much all the other call centers in the area. Oh no, um like I I hate working in call centers. I I left Netflix because I was becoming like very angry as a person because like dealing with um other people's issues that were not in any way my fault or Netflix's fault actually. Um was was very very taxing especially especially doing it, you know, for 10 hours four times a week. Um like like ne Netflix they they have a very very good customer service like their their whole uh, way that they handle customer service has helped me a lot like at future jobs and all that like I, I take those principles to other jobs because apparently other people don't do some of the stuff that they do in terms of like their flow and how they handle like conflict and things like that um, but <laughs> uh, man just uh, the one thing that sucked is every single call ended with a survey um, and it was just a one a one question survey and the question was, are you happy with your Netflix experience? Not like, were you happy with like the call you just had? They just, they phrased it vaguely specifically. Um, and if, and if they said no, that was a ding against us. So I will say like, mm, probably at least more than half, prob probably like 70 to 80% of the calls that I, I did technical support for were things that were not Netflix's job to handle. Um, but we had to, because like, if we just told people like, hey, so um, this is your TV acting up, you need to call Samsung, uh, then people would get pissed at us and they would give us no's on the surveys. So I knew how to troubleshoot a Samsung smart TV better than Samsung's customer support did. We had full manuals on how to troubleshoot all the devices that Netflix worked on. So I, I didn't just do Netflix customer support. I did customer support for every device that ran Netflix. Every time I had to troubleshoot a, a Wii, like the original Nintendo Wii, I, I wanted to die. Like, N Nintendo did not make that an easy console to integrate anything into. And if anyone ever had any issue with it... Like, our, our constant jo joke was... Um, you know, how do you troubleshoot a Wii? Just tell them to stop using the Wii. <laughs> Just tell them not to do that. Just ask them, like, do you, do you have a cell phone? Use your cell phone. <laughs> Can you get a Chromecast? <laughs> do that. Chromecast is wonderful for Netflix. At least it was last time I was there. But hey, I did a thing. <laughs> I, did, I cleared a level, yay! Oh, does it send me into another one? Sure, I'll do. I'll, I'll I'll go until I fail this one. But yeah, that um, I did also. Um, I uh, I was there as Netflix was starting to go more global. Um, like I was there when they launched in Japan, and that was fun. Um, I think I might have told the story on stream before, but it still makes me laugh. Um, so there was a situation when um, when we launched in Jap when they launched in Japan, where um, 
they kept getting the the calls kept getting routed outside of Japan and like the the online chats got uh put outside of Japan um so like they would try to sign in to like do chat tech support and <gasps> biscuit biscuit I love you um but so they they would try to you know communicate with our our chat uh, and they would not speak Japanese, so what they ended up having to do is they they put out phonetic sayings and then also these little copy and paste uh, text things so that if you got a call from somebody from Japan, you could say basically a sentence of like, hey, you've reached the wrong call center, um, your call center is closed, call back. Literally, <laughs> it was between, it said like, call back between this time and this time. And I actually uh, caught out that they didn't put in the actual times because I was um, I didn't work in chat, but I was just kind of like reading through the chat message because that was when I was first kind of learning Japanese. Um, and so I noticed uh, that there were no numbers in the sentence like they, they had the kanji in there that symbolized time, which is just G. So they but you're supposed to put a number in front of that. So it just it just said like uh, basically you know call back between a.m. and p.m. and without any times, and so I uh, I kind of <laughs> kind of caught Netflix uh, either using Google Translate or just not putting in all the information. So I sent an email to people uh, being like, hey, so um, <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> And they're like, how did how did you know? I was like, there are no numbers in this whole sentence. I would go ahead and assume that like if we're trying to tell people to call back between certain times, there should be numbers in here somewhere. So I don't know how many poor people during that first week that we launched in Japan got um, told to call back between some nondescript time. But honestly, anybody that called in from like outside the U.S. was super chill. Um... I also remember when we launched it, launched in Australia, uh, there was a situation that- Ooh, I want to see if I can knock this off the wall. Eh. Yeah! Um, but yeah, there, there was a situation um, with a, where there was like confusion between how processing worked with like one Australian bank, and people ended up getting charged for Netflix like something like six or seven times. So a decent amount of money. And when that came to light, like, they, they sent out an email about, like, how we should handle, you know, customers getting mad uh, at us for it. And basically, we would just say, like, hey, we're aware of it. We are already in communication with your bank. You should see those charges drop off in, like, they in a certain timeline. And so I was so prepared, especially because I worked the late shift. So I did get quite a few Australian callers. I was like, oh, man, people are going to be so mad at me. Did not have a single Australian person ever even get slightly angry at me <laughs> like there there was this one guy that had gotten charged like some like like 10 times at least he oh what am i doing huh and get get huh oh what ah! <laughs> okay now i understand why cats like this um but yeah that, that one dude that got charged like 10 times i was so like when i was looking into his like charge history i could see it and i was like oh he's gonna be pissed oh he's gonna be so mad at me um but i told him like okay you know i see i see the charges here i know exactly what you're talking about it's something that we are aware of and um you know it'll be fixed within the next couple of days and if it's not here's like an additional follow-up number to call and he was like oh okay good good to know you guys know about it have a good rest of your day and that was it <laughs> and that was how most of those australia calls went um, and I think it was partially because, uh, they, they gave us a lot of, like, data from, from customer surveys. They were fantastically transparent about all the stuff that they were, they were doing as far as, like, uh, customer studies and stuff like that. Um, but they, they did some surveys in Australia before they launched about, you know, kind of, kind of the customer service expectations that they have. And the, uh, customer service expectations in Australia are none, um, Especially because they had, I believe the internet is Sky, is, is the company. Apparently, like, that company is notorious for being so unhelpful. 
Like, you're on the phone for hours and hours and hours, and, like, every person pretty much in Australia has had that experience. It's like, it's like Comcast in the U.S., basically. Um, but, like, ten times worse, because I did sit with somebody as they called Sky one time, um, because they kept sending this person back to us, and I was like, can you three-way call? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. I was like, great. Get him on the phone. I'm going to talk to him, <laughs> which I was allowed to do. Um, but so, yeah, I... I uh... <laughs> I had to go through their customer service and it was a nightmare. It was so bad. So whenever they called us and won, um, they would always be surprised that I was American. <laughs> well, that I had an American accent. Um, can confirm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, but like that, I would always get, they, they would at first think I was a robot because I didn't have, um, like an Eastern European accent, because that's where a lot of call centers in Australia um, delegate out to. Uh, so they, they would first of all think I'm a robot. <laughs> and then then when I'm like, no, I'm, I'm a real person. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Um, they would always, almost always just whisper, oh, she's American. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, but they, they were also like just so happy that we actually listened to them and um my average call time was the lowest of ev of a everybody in our call center they wanted our calls to be like an average of like four minutes if you could help it but my average was like three sometimes under three but but also my my approval rating was super duper high so they didn't try and make me stay on the phones longer um so all the time people in australia were like what <laughs> they were done already <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's... Insert problem here is, is done. You're good to go. <laughs> they were always lovely, though. They, they were... Um, they would always, like, tell me stories. They would always ask me questions. Usually, if there was, like, any downtime while we were waiting for, like, something to reboot or something, they would ask me questions about the U.S. Or, they like, they would ask me... Uh, I did have a, a... I think they were teenagers. They sounded like teenagers. They would, uh, they asked me if I knew, like, certain Australian slang, and I was like, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> so they taught me some, and it was fun. Um, yeah, overall, <laughs> my Netflix experience, like, it wasn't the worst thing. It definitely is not the worst job I've ever had. I've had far worse. Um, but it wasn't great. <laughs> okay, I actually, I think that's all I'm gonna do on Cat Lateral Damage today, just because the gameplay is a little bit repetitive. But like I said, I've been I've been craving some Stardew Valley. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. I'm going to change I'm going to change stuff. One second, let me change my description here. Exceed, I didn't know that you So do you live in Australia? I don't think I've ever asked where you're from. I'm sorry. I, I do have some family in Australia. Um, can I do some do? Yeah, baby. You know it. Let me get rid of Spotify here real quick. Where are you, Spoofy? Okay, there we go. Let me go. Stardew. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Flame God, thank you. You study and work in Austria. Oh, cool. So, uh, are you there on kind of like an exchange kind? Well, not an exchange, but like, are you native to Australia or are you just there for, for studying? And what part of Australia? Lived in the U.S. for several years. Oh, cool. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I have I have a uh, have a, a few members of family that live in the Sydney area. I know I have one aunt that works for the, or at least worked. I haven't you know talked to her in quite some time. Uh, she she worked for the um, the Australian version of the CIA. It might just be called the CIA. <laughs> All right, let me switch this over here. See how we looking. Oh, too small. <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, 
sure. That's that's fine. That's fine. Yay. Family moves moves around a lot. Oh no, we're, I I usually try and be well. I say I try to be uh, more diligent about that, but you know. <laughs> Remember to check, uh, oh, <laughs> for Australian CIA agent. Pawn, have I not told, I don't think I've said it on stream, but have I told you the story about how my, my Australian CIA aunt made my uncle very paranoid and it ended with him uh, getting chemicals sprayed in his face? <laughs> it was, it was, oh man, it was so funny. Yeah, so, um, so what Pond is talking about, um, so I, I will constantly say, I am not the most interesting person. Like, I've, I, I don't do a whole lot, especially nowadays. Oh, no, oh, no, I just wanted to check the vibes. No! Oh, gosh, that's gonna bug me. I think that's up against the wall. Vaguely remember something like that. I'll, I'll tell the whole story, because it's very fun. Good humor today. Okay, so we got we got some good stuff going. Oh yeah, and we started in fall. Exciting! All right, let's water these boys while I while I tell this story. Um, so I mentioned that that my the the forest that I grew up in um, is is in like the the European area, um, and a lot of my family lives in Scotland. Like a, a lot. Um, lived just off of like Loch Lomond um or like out of, out of uh, Port Glasgow which is like across across another lock from uh from Glasgow Glasgow but um I ended up going there to visit uh when a second cousin was getting married this was years and years and years ago um they got married in this little castle it was super cute and super sweet um but that's when I first met my, my CIA Australian aunt. Um, and she was kind of describing what her job was. And her job was uh, primarily in surveillance. What she would do is she would... Um, I don't know why I'm going back here. Uh, she would basically just follow people and figure out their routines so that they could um, bug people's houses for, for people of interest. Oh my, I just want to water this one in the middle. Okay, there we go. Uh, so she, she, so her whole job was to just learn somebody's patterns, um, so that they could put tiny cameras and stuff in people's houses. And my, my uncle, uh, my uncle Stephen, he is so, he's constantly paranoid. He, he is, he is a nurse who is also, like, terrified of being sick. He's constantly paranoid about being sick. Um, so as my aunt is telling him like oh yeah we plant like little itty bitty cameras and, and stuff he's like wait where what huh what do you huh and she's like oh yeah we can put cameras in and like she just started like listing off stuff and even though i was young at the time i could just feel i was like oh this is all he's going to talk about for the next couple of days he's going to be very very paranoid about this um and we were staying in like this little uh apartment thing that um some family was letting us use and they had one of those little um like timed scent dispenser things they were like a little it's like a little rectangle that i think is made by like glade or somebody uh that you set it on a little timer and every so often it'll it'll put like it'll spray a little spray of of fragrance into your place so you don't have to worry about it um and so after this conversation with my with my CIA CIA, CIA aunt, um, my my uncle Stephen <laughs> was just looking around this apartment, being like, "Oh, I bet you could fit a camera in that. Oh, you could fit a camera in that." Blah blah blah. Just kept going on and on about it. Uh, I don't even remember what challenge I did, Rob. Oh yeah, I cut down a lot of wood. As an added bonus, I've included the blueprints for a new type of chest. Enjoy. Now that you have all those resources laying around, why not swing by for some construction work? Thanks, Robin. Oh, more mail. Really glad you've become part of our community. I've enclosed 500 gold, a 500 gold check from the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help you continue your good work. Maybe you can buy some more seeds with it. Sincerely, Mr. Lewis. Thanks, Lewis. 
More mail! Hello, it's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help, Linus? Of course, Linus. Do you need a basket? Find Linus's basket and return it to him. Can do. Can do, will do. Um, but yeah, so he, he was looking through everything being like, Oh, I bet you could put a camera in here. I bet you could put a camera in here. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and he... Uh, and he gets really close to this this glade thing. And it's like, oh, this would be so easy to hide a camera in. Like, you could put it in, like, here, here. And as he is talking to it, like, with his eye about nah, two inches away. Um, Hi, Henry and Benry. Uh, the timer goes off <laughs> for, <laughs> for the set. And so he gets sprayed directly in the face with air freshener. Oh, man. We still have not let him live that down, really. Like, we, we were- obviously we were concerned that he had got chemicals sprayed in his face, but we were all laughing too hard to offer any assistance. <laughs> Including his wife, who was right there. She was also just- she just thought it was too funny. But yeah, we- my family uh, tends to, like, not let things like that go, so it's like something that'll get brought up at every family function. Why am I- why am I- oh! But yeah, yeah, uh... Pon, Pon talks about Sumi Bingo, um... Just because, like I said, I, I don't think I am an interesting person. I, I am just very, uh, fortunate in that I have a tendency to be, uh, around interesting people. And I think that's partially, you know... <laughs> Being in a, in a royal family, they kind of know everybody, so, like, it used to be that, like, I couldn't go anywhere with my dad without him running into people and that kind of, you know, just chain reactions into knowing a lot of interesting people. Um, but some of the stories that I that I tell people, like, I'm sorry, what? Uh, so, Pawn, I think Pawn is the one that started it, but, but like, my, my central group, so Pawn, Finn, Jesse, and Cerise... Uh, joke about having a bingo card um, full of like weird stories. Like I, I told like one story about a professor that I had, um, and Pon said, "Okay, did anybody have a German Baron history professor on their <laughs> Sumi bingo?" And I, I will still, I will still say it. I those things don't happen to me because I am interesting. I just happen. To be in the right place at the right time a lot of the time. I just tend to be a very quiet person when I am, um, you know, obviously not live streaming. Uh, so I can just kind of hang out in most social situations. And uh, it's the whole thing where, like, you know, an introvert gets adopted by an extrovert. That just happens to me constantly. Buying one red snapper at three times. Oh, Linus, are you having... Okay. Linus is doing a lot right now. I do know that eventually I will I will run out of interesting stories, but especially, especially yeah, since uh, since I got sick, quote unquote sick, since my chronic fatigue started a couple years back, I feel like I haven't done really interesting things at all. I do still have very interesting friends, though, so I will get fun stories from them, which, which is always fun. Let's see what we got. I, I have an idea. There's a lot of trash in the water. Why don't we fish some out to make the valley more beautiful? Hey, I have an idea for a new style of bed. I'll need 80 hardwood to make it happen. Okay, I'm gonna not worry about that right now. Do I have anything that I need? I have so many blackberries right now. Let's see. What do I need for the kidnapples? I have nothing for that. Nope. Large goat milk. Oh, a large brown egg. Large. <gasps> I forgot to go check on the cows! It's okay, boring lives uh, tend to be pleasant and happy. That's very true. Yeah, my, my life is, is predominantly very calm. Would you like a blackberry, Harvey? That's such a nice gift. Thank you. You are welcome, sir. I feel responsible for the health of this whole community. It's kind of stressful. Oh, that doesn't. That's not surprising. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I feel like <laughs> I'm actually going to be going to um, actually be doing a few things this month. Um, I, I have a couple of friends who have birthdays in October. Um, and I already know one of the party things that I'm going to go to is going to be interesting. Uh, just because the person whose birthday it is is a very interesting person, and every time I've gone somewhere with him, something weird happens, and I've known this person for years. Cannot go anywhere with this- with this boy. Hello! I'm forgetting who is who right now, because- because I got you guys. Hello, can I get... Eugenie! Okay, so Eugenie and Rumpish. Rumpus. Hi, ladies! How are we? Feeling good? Wonderful. Okay, I, th I think they are still, um... Too, too young to get milk out of, probably? I'll grab the bucket. I'll give it a try. Because they're only gonna be, like... I've only had them for a couple of days at this point, I think. Hi! How are you? Age one month. Oh, can I... Hmm? Allow pregnancy? Par pargant? If it doesn't say baby, then they are old enough. Okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I... Huh? Oh, there we go! Oh, okay, so it's just left click instead of right click. Cool! Rumbus! Thank you! I love you both, you're doing wonderful. You're very, very cute. I do actually, I love these, I love these cows. I love my lesbian cow daughters. <laughs> Let's see... Oh, I didn't want her... It's been a while since I played, so I can't really remember what I was doing beforehand. Hey. I'm sorry. Thank you. Let's see, do I have anything here in here that can jog my memory? Um, well, I know I was doing, and I was doing some, some mining. Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. Hmm. I should maybe start, like, I don't know, landscaping. Maybe. Let me sell some of these berries, though. Oh. Eh? I was looking to see if there's anything that... Okay, okay. Eggplant, pumpkins, and yams. None of these. And for this... Oh, no. And this one, they want large milk, specifically. I want to get a goat. I love goats. They're so cute. Um, oh, let me go check on the, sh the shroomies. You do get a little speed boost if you build a path to walk on. Oh, I could probably do that then. Might as well. Hey! Mush! No, hey, no, just grab them. Mush. M mush? Mush? Is there something up here? Or is that just like a, like a water trickle? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I do want to get, like, paths going. I do want to get, like, um, grass. Good job, Jonathan Prime. Jonathan 3, how are you? You scared off one crow. Good job. Jonathan 4. That's okay. And then Jonathan 2. Good job, buddy. I don't know why I remember that order as well as I do, but it's fine. Hi, Eddie. Let's see if there's oh eh oh no that's 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 my axe <laughs> oops yay should go check see if there's anything interesting at the beach it's in the <laughs> what specifically what what did I say that sounded like Pumat's soul? <laughs> 
I, I will say it has been quite some time since I've listened to Critical Role. They are announcing Campaign 3 next week, though, so that's going to be exciting. I'll probably get back into it then. It's it's easier to pick that kind of stuff up, you know, at the beginning rather than at the end. Hello? Bonk. Anything over here but you worms? Okay. Oh, Jonathan Prime, Pumat Prime? That makes sense. <laughs> Just all my scarecrows are named Jonathan. I just have to remember what order I got them in. Or put them out in, I should say. Am I running out of inventory space? Kind of, not really. Do I want to fish? Well, no, I never want to fish, but... Should I fish is the question. Oh, I have crab traps. I'm literally just remembering how to play this game. Oh my goodness. Don't play a game for a week and it just dumps out of my memory entirely. My Swiss cheese brain goes, oh, we haven't done this in a while. Obviously we don't need it anymore and then just like dumps it. Okay, where are the crab traps? Oh wait, no, I put, I picked them up and I put them out at the, at, at the docks. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll have a slightly more productive day tomorrow now that I know what I'm doing, kind of. Actually, one second. Let me look in here. Like, paths. Pathway? Pa pathways? Wood path. Gravel path. Cobblestone path. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what kind of, uh, I'll have to think about what, what I want to do. Because I don't want to have to dig stuff up and put it back. Hmm. Like where I'm at right now, though, cobblestone might look okay. I'm trying to think about the aesthetics. Hmm. Actually, can I, like... Gonna make some real quick. Oh, hey, I got an achievement! DIY. Okay, I'm just gonna put these down and see if I like how they look. Trade me. Oh, I forgot to put that back with the girls. Oopsie. Do I like how this looks? Kinda. Do I like how this looks? A little bit more. I'll see how they look in the daytime. <laughs> oh, let me put some stuff. And here to sell, we got mush, mush, mush. Hmm. Should I save the milk for any reason? Also, how often can I get milk from, from the cows? Is another good question. I'm going to save the nice milk just for right now. All right. Hi, Eddie. All right. Hey, not half bad. That's a lot of money for mushrooms, actually. <laughs> Yay! Day nine of fall. Today is technically the second day of fall. Yes! It's technically the second day of fall. They're mildly perturbed today. Okay, good to know. Hello, everybody. Good morning. <gasps> I have some berries. One week from today, we're holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. It's the biggest event of the year, oh no. Drawing people from all across the country to our humble town. If you'd like, you can set up a Grange display for the event. Just bring up to nine items that best showcase your talents. You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. The fair starts at 9 a.m., don't miss it. Okay, so I'm, I'm definitely saving that, that high-quality milk, I guess. In there with you. Ah, oh, so many cranberries. I do remember I, I planted these ones second, or I didn't fertilize them? Something happened with these ones. But. Don't bother, just put the shorts in. That would be very funny. 
That'd be very funny. Lewis still hasn't done anything to me, though. I know that he will, but also... I just heard one of the chickies. Hi, Henry and ben or Benry, whichever one you are. Hello. I need to go get you guys some more hay. I'll do that. Do that today. Let me see if the kidnapples want these. They do not. But upon is that the be the best use for the shorts is to put them in this thing. Because I will. I might feel bad about it later, but I'll do it. Oh. No, just one of many. Yeah, I, th I think for the... Oh my gosh. For this first year. Please just water this one. There we go. For this first year, I'll do, I'll do the shorts. And then, you know, in future years when I have a, a better established farm... Then we shall put in more earnest effort. Oh yeah, these are like the weird magic beans. Oh, and that was all seeds from the kidnapples. Whoop. More please, thank you. Still trying to remember what, what things I right click and what things I left click. Oh, I should go check in on, like, birthdays and stuff. See if there's... Oh, I like the cobblestone path way better. I'll be doing that one. Thank you. Might be better if I had some grass to put it over, but I don't know if I can put it over grass. Hmm. We'll figure it out. I keep telling myself I want to, like, look up, you know, farms on, like, Pinterest or whatever to kind of give myself some ideas of what I want to do with mine. But also, I feel like that is a slippery slope for me. That's exactly what happened with Animal Crossing. Okay. Alright, let's go get some hay for the chickies. Oh, let me go put this back with the ladies. Hi, Eugenie. Hi, Rumbus. How are you? Thank you. Also, thank you. Okay. Put the milk, milk pail back in there. Excellent. Okay. Bye. If I plant grass in there, will they, like, graze on it? Because that'd be cute. They will all have to do that, then. I'll have to do that later. Hi, Jess. How are you? What, what are you doing over here? Would you like a berry? No. I want to give it to Jess. No, I want to give it to Jess. Is this a gift? Oh. Was that bad? Was that Is she okay? What happened? What just happened? Did I goof? Did I goof? Oh yeah, she did not like that. If you have grass outside the pen, they'll also keep trying to escape to eat it. Oh no! That's also good to know then. Oh yes, gonna go get hay. Marnie, please be at your business. Marnie. Marnie, why? Marnie, my children need food, Marnie. 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 <laughs> Fine. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, what are my relationship things with everybody? Oh, I have a lot of hearts with Penny. Haley, Elliot, Pam. Oh, I have two with Harvey now. Can I go into his... Well, room, I guess. Like, uh, his office? I wonder if I could make a collage out of dry- Oh, you can! Absolutely! I'm sure it would look great. Yep, 
You can try out some hard events. How do I do that? I don't know. I don't know how to do hard events. I haven't done those yet, I don't think. Oh, these quails are so cute. Okay, let me look at the calendar here. Okay, so it's Jody's birthday here. Abigail, Robin, Marnie, George, Stardew Valley Fair, Spirits Eve. Okay, fun, fun. Oh! Hi, Abigail. I just came to sell stuff to your dad. Are you good? Hi. Hello. It's me, right? Yes. Hello, how are you? You scared me sneaking into my room like that. I scared me by coming into your room. I didn't plan this. Uh, so, I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours and I can't even beat the first level. Oh, honey. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Oh, honey, I, I understand. I also am bad at video games. <laughs> hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Yeah, sure. Do you have a do you have a hamster? Do you have a ham? Who is this? Who is this friend? Who is the friend? Who is the friend? Please tell me that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Here they come. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. David, what? Oh my goodness. Where which one am I? I I got confused about who is who. Okay, I'm red. Okay, I'm red. This is me. Oh my god. Do I have to beat this? <laughs> Cuz I I didn't sign up for this. I just wanted to sell my cranberries and now I'm being forced to do this. Oh. Ah! Wah! Abigail! <laughs> okay, cool. Yes, no, free me. I give up. I'll, I'll never get past the first level. I'm sorry. Oh well, thanks for trying. Sorry. But for real though, who's this? Who's this? No. Uh. Oh, but no. Hi Abigail, how are you? I try to help out in the shop most days. Business has been pretty bad since the Jojo Mart opened though. I bet. I'm sorry. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, 1,000. Okay, okay. It isn't just me being bad at a thing. That's good to know. That is so much money for the cranberries. Thank you. Let's see anything else I care about? Not, not particularly. Um. Okay, I I have to see who Robin's pet is. I have to see that pet now. Who is this? That's what Cerise said when he said, David, David. What, what, can I look at this? 11 solo sonatas for the wooden flute. Interesting. Journey of the Prairie King console edition. Okay. No, it's good to know that that game is hard. I'm not an idiot. Marnie, why are you jazzercising? I need hay for my chickens. You're doing great. Hi, Carolyn. I did I call you Carolyn or Caroline? I think I call you Caroline. Okay. Hi, Rob. Oh, Robin. I was gonna go see you, but I guess you're here. Hi, Emily. Marnie. Marnie. Hmm. 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 Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. To Mr. Pierre, it pains me to be the bearer of bad news, but I feel obligated to inform you of a recent development most threatening to your livelihood. Jojico has decided to expand into Pelican Town. It's too late for protest. Jojo builders have already broken ground for the new Jojo Mart. This must be devastating news for you. So many years in business, a local standby, and now obscured by the shadow of a powerful, efficient, economically viable corporation. What a shame. As a manager of the new Jojo Mart, I feel, to some degree, personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I'd like to offer you a position as assistant grocer. Wages start at five gold an hour. 
Okay, Morris, I'm gonna pile drive you into the ground. What an asshole. Dude, what? The absolute gall of being like, Hi, I'm coming into town and ruining your business. Would you like a job? Morris, you're on my shit list. Who are you? Fuck Pierre, but you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Maru! Hi! She's a beautiful t Hi, Maru. Breaking in. What's up? Hi, Louis. This is completely confidential. Yep. I'm just snooping. Is life sometimes difficult? Do you ever have trouble staying focused? Yes. Talk to a doctor about uh, pra Pravaloxanin. Pravaloxanin is not for everyone. Side effects may include insomnia, severe anger, uncontrollable swelling of the throat, permanent discoloration of the lips, hair loss, and stroke. In extremely rare cases, one in 500 test subjects experience completely complete disintegra disintegration of one or more bones. Oh, I can't go up here! Harvey, we're friends! Oh my god, do you collect model airplanes? Oh my god. Nerd! Oh my god, what a nerd! Yo, what's this? Ground to air radio protocol. Comparison between fighter planes of the Ferngal Republic and the Gotoro Empire. Interesting. Is this like a radio? No, I wanted to. Complicated radio broadcasting. Huh. Tape inside antholo anthology of classic jazz. Do it yourself knee surgery. Please don't do that yourself. What? Oh dear D. Actually, a very nice apartment. Pretty standard TV set. It's set to the history station. What a nerd! Didn't find anything, but now your hands smell bad. Oh no, can I wash my hands? Please? Full of convenience food. Looks well used. Oh man, same, buddy! My microwave has been put through it, man. Bye! Bye! I wasn't doing anything! Bye! I can hear- leave me alone! That is cute, though, that he's, like, in the model airplanes. I know very little, if anything, about that, but it's cute. Hmm. Oh, hi, Sam! What's up? Ordered a new pair of shoes online, they're the same style, so I know they'll fit right. Good for you, buddy! I love this little pumpkin. Let's see. I'm actually kind of walking around. I'm just kind of thinking about Linus's basket that he lost. Maybe I should go up that way. Been having fun messing with someone? No, that, that's absolutely a worthy thing to step away from, from the stream for. What were you doing, Senti? Give me a bear, we Thank you. Can I go in here? Penny! Uh, it's so dirty in here. If you need some help, I'll help. I'll help clean. I don't clean my own apartment, but I'll help people clean. It's fine. It's Mary, I'm sorry that it's such a mess. I was about to clean up. Do you need help? <laughs> did I oo woo at her, or did she oo woo at me? You'll help me? You really need it? Yes! Okay, you can get started over there. I'll clean the kitchen. Sounds good. I don't know where any of your stuff goes. So I'm probably going to be more um, more harm than anything. Hi, Pam? What do you think you're doing? Uh-oh. Cleaning? Stop it, I had everything just the way I like it. Pam! Someone shrimps really hard for one of my friends and gets kind of <laughs> acting like a child with some of the stuff. Oh, absolutely. Ooh. No, that is, that is, that is a good cause right there. Pe people who, uh, yeah, yeah, no, sent to you, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing a good thing. <laughs> Were you at the saloon just now? You smell like beer. Pam, go take a nap or something. None of your damn business where I go. Where did, it is my business. I don't want you destroying yourself. You don't, don't you realize that your choices have an effect on me? Stop being so selfish. Uh-oh. 
I don't want to be here for this domestic dispute. Selfish? I put a roof over your head and clothes on your back and you call me selfish? Uh, you ungrateful- uh-oh. Hi, sorry. Um, I'll just leave. Goodbye. <laughs> You'd better go. I'm sorry you had to see this, kid. Sorry. Penny, are you good? She's a nice young lady. Understandable sentiment, bad choice of words. Yeah. But I don't want you telling others to clean up my house. It's embarrassing, you understand? Yes, mother. I offered, though! Come on. Come on. I want to kind of walk around the back here. See if I can't find Linus's basket. I'm just thinking about it. Robin, are you? Oh, is your work still open? Oh, no, okay. So I can't go talk to you right now. That's okay. Let's see. Hey, Linus. If I appeared to an alternate universe, she'd, she'd, uh, oh, uh, no, only I can, <laughs> only I can do that, ooh, ooh, oh, man, that is a very four-year-old rebuttal, oh, my goodness, let's look up here, oh, man, P people, some, I, I, I have, trouble understanding people on a good day and then there are some times where I'm like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what's happening at all. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting a notification. I'm trying to do um, kind of uh, pre-scheduled ads and stuff um, through Twitch's new thing. But I'm getting a thing saying that I've snoozed the ad too many times, so in like ten minutes ish, if you're if you don't have a subscription, you might get an ad in the middle of me saying things. If you do, I am sorry, I cannot stop it <laughs> currently. I have maxed it out as much as I can and now it's angry at me. Okay, well I didn't see his basket around there. That's okay, we'll find it. Let's go look down this way. Might as well. I don't particularly even know what I'm doing in general right now. I'm just having fun picking blackberries for some reason. It's satisfying to me. Oh, I should go check my crab traps, actually. Uh-oh. That might be helpful, huh? Where am I? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm still not over- No, only I can do this thing! Okay. Let's see. Help me find X question usually in spots you wouldn't go otherwise. That makes sense. That tracks. Like how the axe is all the way down and like how the axe is all the way down in the woods. Oh, huh. Yeah. Okay, I swear I put my crab traps around here. I did. I didn't grab more bait before coming over here. It's fine. <gasps> crab. Crab. I got a whole crab. Willie. Wh Willis. Willie. Willy! I got a crab. Just so you know. Let's see. Kidnapples do not want any of those, so I can just sell them. That's nice. Yeah, I forgot to bring bait. Oops. I'm sure I'm sure the basket'll show up eventually. One day. Um, does it go in a bundle? Because the 
Let me let me go to the fish. Fish tank. Nope. 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 Uh uh. Yeah, they don't want a crab for some reason. I'm like, I'm sorry, but sir, you're not making a good kid. Yeah. Yeah, dude, she's totally gonna like you more if you throw a, a toddler tantrum. Like, ugh. Yikes. Okay, it's probably time to head home. It's already 10.30. Hi, Elliot. You're probably asleep. Bye, Elliot. Hmm. In crab pot, what? Where at pot, what? I think I might have already done the thing. Oh, oh, like one of these guys. Maybe? No. Yeah? No. Huh? No. Yeah, I might have already done it on accident. <laughs> that's okay. No worries. Yeah, that's everything I got. Hopefully I'll have my, my fall crops done so I can go give that to them soon. What other quest do I have right now? Basket, cow's delight. Oh, oh yes, amaranth, and I'm growing some. Bring Demetrius a melon. Bring Pam a pale ale. <laughs> and then get to level 40 in the mines. Gotcha. Crab. Good night, cows. They're so cute. How many animals can I have in a barn? Do I need to make another... But, and if I have, like, different species of animals in the barn, is that going to be a problem? Because I really want goats. I don't think I can have goats yet, but I want them. That's the most important thing. I would just like some goats. Okay. And then... Up to eight? Okay, cool! And there with you, and you, and you. Okay. See, maybe tomorrow we'll go, we'll go mining or something. You can put a dino- <gasps> I can- I can get- So, one, great that I could put it in a barn. Two, dinosaur! Oh yeah, there's like the- there's like the big fossil thing. I could just get a dinosaur? I do kind of want that, actually. <laughs> oh, it's raining! Hey, I don't have to water my plants! Wonderful! Please, please let them be in a good humor today. Somewhat annoyed. Dang it. Okay. That's fine. Let's see what we got. Sorry about what happened at my place yesterday. My mom can get in a bad mood sometimes. Please just forget it happened. Oh, Penny. You're okay, sweetheart. I know how it is. But yay, I don't have to water my plants today! Oh, are you guys ready to go? Are you eggplants? Yes. Go give this to the kidnappers. See, I think that's everybody that's good to go today. Nope, no corn. Eddie has water in his bowl. Let's go look at the mushy mushrooms. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh! That's that's one. That's a, that's a new one. The the purple one, I think, is is one that is is wanted. Let me double check. Yes. Where though? <laughs> No. No. Crap. No. Oh, yes, right there. Yeah. Okay, what else? Tar, oak resin, maple syrup, a coconut, cactus fruit. Interesting. Cool. I know there's one for like Demetrius's bundle, but I want to I want to get all the other bundles done first. Let's go. Oh, I wasn't able to go get food for the chickens yesterday. I'll have to bring some from the cows. Hi, ladies! Moo! You guys are doing great. So 
let me trade. Trade. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I'm gonna take the rest of this and I'm gonna give it to Henry and Benry. If you plant seeds with automatic food in a pinch. That's true. Where's the bucket? Thank you! Oh, none, none today? That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry, Rumbus. Are you okay? Also pet you. Are you good? She looks really happy today. Good. Grassy. Ah, oh, okay. That's true. Yeah, I could I could give them some grass. That's true. Henry and Benry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Here's some food for you. I love you. Why are you mad at me? I'm sorry. Why are you grumpy? Oh, because I didn't feed you? I'm sorry. I understand. It's completely understandable. I'm sorry. I still love you. Bye. Okay. Marnie, please. Please, Marnie, I am begging. I am on my hands and knees, Marnie. Please, please let me do business at your business. <laughs> please sell me things. Thank you! Gimme? Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah. Well, actually, I'll do. Yeah. Some for both. Last year's. Okay. What? Oh, no. What aminals do you have? Okay. Okay, I need to get a bigger barn. Deluxe barn, deluxe barn, big barn. Okay. 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 I might get some more in a minute, but... Oh, in about one minute, Twitch is going to automatically run an ad here, so if you if you are not subbed, you're going to get a, a one minute, 30 second ad, and I apologize. I'm going to need to figure out how to get into a rhythm with that. Hey. What's up? Buying one Earth Crystal at three times the market for- okay. Mm. Ah, dang it! Okay. Um. Oh, Senti, thank you for the Ada Ada redeem. One second, let me get back home and put this away before I forget. Boop. There's more up here. Boop. Okay. Oh no, I need to go get stuff to the kid apples. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Oh no, that was almost very bad. Oh jeez. Oh no. Okay, but yes, yes. Sorry, let me take a drink of water and I'll do the ada ada. Him. Ada ada. Huh. <laughs> Again, I have no idea where the ada adas come from, and I have no idea how they're going to sound as they come out of my mouth, so it's fine. <laughs> Alright, hey guys! Are you guys doing okay in the rain and all that? <laughs> Yay, I did a good one! Thank you. Um, is it you that wants the fall? Yes! Um, for you! Okay, and then, um, the mushroom one. Which one was the mushroom one? Which one of you wanted mushies? Yes, there it is. It's the crafts room, which is down here. Hello! For you! I don't know how I'm gonna get these other things. I will find them. It's okay. And then winter I don't have to worry about. Like, let me take a look at the other stuff. So artisan, truffle oil cloth, apricot, orange, peach, pomegranate, cherry. I should start planting some trees to get an orchard going. I want to do that. Huh, okay. I have no idea how I get, like, any of that, really. Aminal bundle. Dang, why, why won't you take my, my average milk? Why must it be large milk? Let's 
see. Bus. What about, huh? Oh, like you take the bus and go places? Which one fixes the bus? This one fixes the bus. Oh, I have to pay m the money fixes the bus. Okay, gold. That. Surely I have 99 slime by now. I'm gonna go take a look at that, actually. Surely I have 99 slime, right? I have to at this point, right? I've killed so many. Oh. I'm not going where I think I'm going. Go up and around. Okay. Oh, actually, let me go see if I can talk to Robin and see if, uh, see what stuff costs. Hi! Construct farm buildings. Okay, so that's, yep, gotcha. Okay. Okay, I probably have enough stuff to do that. Well, that's cute. That's neat. That's very expensive. Okay. Okay. Cute. Huh. Stable. <gasps> horse? I would like a horse. Big coop. Big barn. Okay. I need a lot of money. <laughs> I need a lot of money. Haunts, house, house, unlocks goats. Yes, you. This is the new goal. This is the new goal. I want a goat. I want a goat. Okay, so, for goat. Need 12,000 gold, 450 wood, 200 stone. Wonderful, Robin. Thank you for your time. Have a good rest of your day. I just want a goat. No worries, Senti. See you in a minute. Okay, let's go put the hay in with the cows and with the chickens so they have food and are not angry with me. I've already checked the mushrooms today. Yes, okay. I only did it like a few minutes ago and I have already forgotten. It's fine. Hi, Rumbus. How are you? Good. I have food for you. Enjoy. Well, you won't enjoy it because it's going to be in the chest, but... <laughs> you know what I mean! Bye! What kind of stuff does the wizard like? I kind of want to be friends with the wizard. Because I just want to say that I'm friends with the wizard. Hi, guys! I brought you food. I apologize that... I ran out. Sorry, I had a moment of being a bad mama. Bye. I have almost had uh, situations like that with Eddie where, like, um, I didn't realize that I was almost out of food for him or something like that. And the immediate guilt, even though I've never run out of food, Eddie has never not gone without a meal, I should say that. Um, but just, I've gotten close before and I'm like, oh no, I'm a bad mother. Okay, I definitely have enough wood for Big Barn. Oh, I already have like a wood path stuff built. Huh. I'm gonna grab you. Maybe we'll do some stuff. Okay. Okie dokie. Fancy milk. Okay. The premium milk. The good shit. <laughs> can, it, can you guys drink milk? I can't- I can't- oh, I have so much- okay, I have a lot of wood. I can't- I can't drink milk. I can't do it. It's very gr- Oh yeah, I remember I- I did joke about having 69 seeds- 69 slime, didn't I, huh? <sighs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Alright. Let's see, I think that's... Oh, exceed! Yes, thank you for the lurk! No worries! I can, but I usually don't. Yeah, I just- 
I've gotten to arguments with people over this before, but like milk just tastes like thick water to me. And I don't know, for some reason that, that hits my, my, my texture thing in a weird way. I can't just drink milk. I can drink milkshakes, but that's also because I could eat ice cream during the middle of the next ice age. Just, I just, I really like ice cream. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go put bait in the crab traps. And then put up some paths around the farm, maybe. Oh, and I did want to see how much hardwood Robin needed because I saw I had 18. She needs 80. <laughs> okay. Milk products are very good, but regular milk is, huh? That's how I am as well, Cerise. Like, yeah, stuff that has milk in it, great. Wonderful. No problems with that. Um, just milk by itself, nah, nah. Before I look any... You don't like, oh, hi, El hi, Elliot. But, um, so I, I like things that have milk in them. I just, I can't drink straight milk. I have a hard time drinking anything that isn't like just water to begin with. I'll drink lemonade sometimes. Hi, Elliot, how are you? Waxing poetic and all that? Welcome to my humble, well, shack. Um, uh-huh. This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. Okay. Cool. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to uh, I've wanted to be a writer. Have I told you that? No, but I assumed. I'm sorry, Exceed, I don't like it. It's a weird it's a weird consistency. It's gross. <laughs> so I have lived out here by myself. I figured a lonely life by the sea would help me focus on my literary aspirations. <laughs> okay, fine, Exceed. Okay, we can agree to disagree. Everyone back home said I was nuts, that I could never make it as a writer. Can you believe it? They said for every successful author, there are 1,000 who fail miserably. Such pessimism. It's sickening. I do like that Elliot's logic is like, yes, I to be a good writer, I should um, suffer in a shack by the ocean. That's that's the true artist pain. I can see it in your eyes. I believe uh, You believe in me, Sumire. You've got that spark. I do, buddy. You can do it. Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah? A question. What kind of books do you like? Um. Um. Hmm. 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 Uh, it depends. Overall, though, if, if we're looking- if I'm looking at all of my books and my reading history, it's more just like fiction in general, but like looking at the books that I have up above my desk, it's mostly romance. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, one of the classic genres. I'll remember that. Oh, thank- thank you? <laughs> both of you, shut up. I see you both. <laughs> well, enough talk about me. Now I'm having too many suitors, actually. I went from not knowing to having too many. Hmm, you probably know a lot about plants, don't you? Is that because I'm a farmer, or are you getting weirdly meta with me? I'm assuming it's because I have a farm. Would you mind taking a look at this rose here? I'm afraid it's not doing so well. Well, roses are very, very picky. Like, you, you breathe on a rose wrong and it'll, you know, it'll cause problems. Hi. Um, I guess I fixed that problem. What's this? Looks like Ellie is trying to grow a bonsai tree. It looks cool so far. Yeah, those are very hard to kill. You're doing great. A blank book. An empty cubby. Bink. Bink, 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 bink. A painting by Leah. Oh, I remember. I do remember looking at that. How's your rose doing? Thanks for talking with me. I'll be thinking about what you said that I like romance books and also um, roses are very hard to care for. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I guess. A train. Okay, yeah, I'm not catching that train. Hey, you, old mariner. I've got this old amulet. Leave me alone. I didn't want your amulet anyway. I don't know what you want from me. But I don't want your amulet, sir. <gasps> oh, that's kind of cute. But still, seagulls, goodbye! Leave! No seagulls. Okay, I did bring bait with me. Yes, I did. Yay! Yay! One. And there's one. There's one. 
use this one right here. Boop. And then Boop. Okay. All right. We are all good. What you doing? Some fish come and go with the seasons. Others only come out at night or in the rain. Interesting. Bye. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go build some paths. Make make my place look kind of nice. Might be able to see <gasps> really where where can i see a frog i would very much like to see a frog with pawn saying god i'm i'm curious now oh i actually see bonk oh no hey whoa hey hey what's all of this now no 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 i didn't give you guys permission to be here I think I want to clean out this corner and make it into an orchard after I get goats. Priority right now is goats. Frogs will hop out when you cut weeds sometimes, but Sebastian is also very concerned with frogs on rainy days. Oh no. Uh, Cerise, I don't think you've, you've seen, but I've accidentally made Sebastian hate me. Well, not hate me. I just keep giving him gifts he hates on accident. And so <laughs> I, don't, I do not think we are friends. <laughs> also, I do have fences and gates. Yeah, okay. Uh, neat. He likes weird stuff. That, yeah, that makes sense. That tracks. I just tried to give him an ice cream once and he was very offended and I still feel bad about that. Alright, okay. So, where do I want to build paths? Well, first we started my own front door, yes? Okay. Okay. We'll go around Jonathan Prime. Ah, uh, but next season when I replant stuff, I'm gonna have to move all of this. It's fine. It'll look cute. Oh, okay. So we'll go around Jonathan. Could you imagine just like coming onto the farm and seeing somebody putting down these little paths in the rain? Just like, oh yeah, nothing to see here, don't worry, don't worry about it. Um How do I how do I pick this back up? I'm gonna assume it's there we go. Easy thing for Seb is coffee. Good to know. Go over this way and past Jonathan. You're Jonathan three. Oh, oops. I didn't want to put that one there. Oopsie. Hi, Jonathan Four. How are you? No, like seriously, <laughs> this this is something that a crazy person would do: just lay out wood planks on the ground in the middle of a rainstorm. It's fine. Boop. Oh well, hey, that actually kind of worked out. Do I like how it looks? Not really. That's true. You know what, Cerise, you're onto something. Oh, not that one. I wanted this one. Ah. Uh. Boop. There we go. Yeah, I don't particularly like this, but you know what? It's something. I did something. I did something to improve my farm. Good job, me. I I do notice that I walk faster. That is true. That is true, Pond. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna put you. No. Fine. Let's see. 
Anything here that I care about? Not particularly. Oh, it's already 11.30. I didn't even realize. Let's go to bed. All right, night-night, Eddie. Oh, I haven't pet my cat in, in a minute. Oopsie. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Beep. I think it's going to be either today or tomorrow I'm going to have a decent harvest of stuff. Probably tomorrow. All right, what are my vibes for today? Neutral. Cool. So maybe, maybe, it may be a trip to the mines today. But I do have to water everybody. Morning. Okay, yeah, so I think it's tomorrow because it's like twelve days on a lot of on some of these. Eddie, please don't. Okay, but. All right, you can sleep there, I guess. Just don't eat those. I don't know if those are toxic to cats. Please do not. This is one of my favorite tracks, I think, on the music. It's so, it's so relaxing. Oh, um, you're making me so nervous over there. I know you're not gonna do anything, but like... My nervous mother instincts. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, come on. Please just water the ones I want you to water. Please, I'm, cl I'm physically clicking on the square I want you to water. Thank you. I'm hoping that I got all of them. It's I can't see it. It's fine. It's fine. It'll all it's all good. Yeah, I'm absolutely gonna tear all of this uh this pathway up. Need to make it like more even. I don't know. I don't like how this looks. I don't like it. But it does help me walk faster. So like there is there is an upside to it. Tate's hi, it's going good. How are you? We we celebrated Eddie's birthday for a little bit and then I decided I wanted to play a little bit of Stardew Valley, so we're just kinda hanging out here. I'm just trying to raise some crops so that I can get goats. I just want goat Oh yes, let me come pet you. Hi, I love you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tates. I'm still working on getting my stream deck set up, but eventually I will just have an Eddie Meow button. I know what button it's gonna be, I just need to <laughs> sit down and do it. I, I was going to try and do more stream deck stuff today, but my homework took a lot longer than anticipated. I had to watch Black Panther twice today. Well, more, more like one and a half times, because I watched it the second time at like one and a half speed. But like, that's a two-hour movie, and I had to watch it t twice. Like your one. Oh, that was me uh, trying to see if I would like how that looked, and I do kind of like how it looks. So I'll probably use it in the future. But he's doing great. Where is he right now? He's lay. He's laying out in the front room. He's having a good time. <laughs> yeah, he's doing good. I wasn't able to, because my homework took so much longer than anticipated, um, I wasn't able to go get him birthday stuff today. Because I was lazy all day yesterday and I was like, oh, I'll do stuff tomorrow. But so he will get birthday presents tomorrow. I will also probably make him wear a hat for a second. That That is that is the, uh, the trade-off. He gets extra treats, I get a picture of him in a hat. Hi Eugenie, how are you? Good. How are you, Rumbus? Great, you're doing wonderful. Thank you. I love my lesbian cow daughters. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Yeah, he's been actually very chill today. He he is kind of sitting um close to the window. I think he really, really wants to hang out with the backyard cats. 
I feel kind of bad that I can't, you know, let them hang out. I did catch Apollo. Okay, so, um, behind, uh, so I, I come into my, my apartment through the back of the house. Um, oh, no, I just want to, I want to pick, pick, oh, no. Take. Take. Thank you. All right. Um, but so, uh, my, my landlord really likes gardening. He's very good at it. Um, he has a lot of different things, um, but he has these little, these boxes, um, of some kind of vegetable. I don't know what kind, um, but, uh, I have a tendency to, like, deep clean my apartment very late at night because I will suddenly get bursts of energy, you know, at, like, midnight, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go clean. Oh, hi, Linus! Oh, 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 oh. Barry, would you like one? For you. You are welcome. How are you? Doing good? Do you want something? No, I'm just checking in. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it, there, there are these, like, big boxes uh, out there that I think... I don't think they're tomatoes. I think there's something close to that, though. Um, but constantly over the past uh, about two, two or three... What? Bone? I just dug up a bone. A prehistoric bone. Um, sorry, I keep getting distracted. I keep finding things. Uh, but yeah, I, keep, I, I go out to take out my trash uh, after doing, you know, my, my random late night cleanings of my apartment. And constantly over the past few weeks, I have been scared to death by Apollo, who's the little black cat. I've just named them that. I have no idea. Um, but I will just see his little eyes, like, peeking up through these little boxes that are back there. There's another dig spot by the- ah, oh, dang it! That's fine. Let's go bring this over to- what else was I doing? Let's go sell these. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've been scared by that little black kitten so many times, because I just see, like, the his big reflective eyes at the back of the, uh, at the back of the garden. I'm like, oh, is something there? It's it's a cat. I should know it, it was, but at this point that it's a cat. I don't see Artemis around as much. I know I know that 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 she's around. And they 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 have a tendency to kind of play on the back porch, so I don't know if my like landlord is feeding them or what's up with that. But yeah, Ed Eddie was looking very forlornly out the window today after he saw him for a minute. I wish, I wish I could just take them, but I don't know if they already have a home. And I cannot afford three cats. <laughs> Bone. Okay. How are you? I just, can I not just talk to you? Okay. What book did I find? Scarecrows. Oh yes, Jonathan. Once you start growing a lot of crops on your farm, you can expect to be visited by crows. In the morning, you might discover that a crow has made breakfast out of your hard work. One way to prevent those bothersome crows from eating your crops is to set up scarecrows near your crops. Be aware that scarecrows have limited range, so you'll need multiple if your farm is large. Scarecrows keep track of how many crows they've diverted. You can use that to tell if they're in a useful spot. Collectible scarecrows aren't just for looks. They work just the same as the regular model. It is the most cartoon bone ever. That that is that is a cartoon. That is a cartoon as well. Hello. Oh, what did I name you? What did I name you before? D started with like a D. I don't remember what I named you, but you're still a very cute stuffed animal. Goodbye. Okay. Let's see. Let's go check the fish. The the crab traps. I just want money so that I may have goats. Goats, 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 goats. Is that a CD? Yep. Well. Great. 
There is so what and drip, huh? Linus was saying there was a lot of uh, debris in the water. You're not wrong. Hi, Willis. Willie. I'm gonna keep calling you Willis. Sorry. Okay. I think we're- yeah, we're close to enough money. I do think I need some more rocks for a bigger barn, though. Penny? Sometimes you catch garbage in that- In all three of them, though. Leia likes driftwood? Okay, good to know. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to give you a gift of fish bait. We're very lucky to have a library in Okay. Would you like a clam? Yay! Elliot! Hi. A tiny crab appears to made its home in my shirt pocket. Oh, that's cute. How did you not notice? That's the trouble with living on the- how did you not notice? Okay. Bye. Oh, Alex? Yes? I rarely talk to you. How are you? What's up? Not much, dude. Isn't your name, like, Sumchu or something? Sure, dude. If you want. Abigail, hi! No, I'm on the time in you. No, I want- Abigail! Dang it. Okay. Fine. Uh, okay. See anything up here that I care about? Not particularly bunny. Oh, well, thank you for knocking those loose. Oh, oh, I can cross the street? What? I didn't know this. I didn't know I could cross the street. It was a really tiny crab? Okay, that makes sense. That tracks. Didn't know I could cross the road. I got me some acorns. Wonderful. Okay. Toss off the stuff I want to sell. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, beep. Let me see if Leia's home. Have I checked on the chickens? Henry and Benry! I haven't checked on you guys today, sorry! Benry is trying to sleep. Benry's eyes are physically open, I can see them. Oh, now they're sleeping. Oh, eat egg? No, I'm not gonna munch a whole egg. Okay, let me go see if I can go give Leah this driftwood. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. This house is right here. Hi. Oh. Really? Y'all are going to sleep at like 8.30 p.m.? Man, what's it like to have a good, uh... You can go further down the road. Oh. That's good to know. Sorry if there's a delay. Yeah, if, if you're having a lot a lot of delay, usually if you refresh, that'll fix it. Because my internet has actually been kind of okay recently. Let me actually look at OBS. Ah, right now it's not okay. In general, it has been. Um, but usually if you refresh, it's okay. It's going all over the place right now, though. One second, let me take a look here. Hey, Twitch Inspector, what's up? Tell me. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah, it's been unstable for a little bit. Oh, it's right around 10, so it might just be the 10 p.m. scuff. All right. It's all good, though. No, just locking their doors. Keeping them away- keeping me away from them. Keeping me from walking into their house so late at night. Let's do- let's do a little bit of fishing. Just for the fun of it. I got time and energy. Hello? Don't. Come on, be nice to me. Ooh. 
Is this a, is it a bream? Bream! <laughs> it's all I can catch, I swear. All I can catch is breams. Oh well. At least the more I fish, the the better, quote unquote, I get at fishing. Hello? Mm -hmm. Anybody? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Go further down this way, I guess. Try. We'll try for another one and then kind of wander on home. It is ten thirty already. Is that the mouse? Mouse? Hat mouse? Hello? Really? No fit? No fish? None fish? None of you guys want to hang out? Oh! Eh. Hi, hat mouse. How are you? I want to talk to you. Oh, I didn't know that, uh... That weeds had seeds in them. Like, I, like, obviously it's probably happened during the time that I've, uh, played. I just have not observed that. I do want this, though. Thank you, Hat Mouse. I love you. You are, you are fantastic. One of my favorite characters. I love Hat Mouse. Do they contain seeds? Because, like, I just get fibers. Like, I thought that's all that there were in these. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's only in some of them. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Uh-oh, where am I? Actually. Actually, where am I? Oh, no. Here you go this way. Okay. Let's go to sleep and hope we have a big harvest tomorrow so that I can acquire goats. Time for goats. Hi, Edison. See ya. Oh, I think I had other stuff to put in there. It's fine. Yay! Okay. What are the vibes for today? Good humor. Okay. May maybe a mind trip is in order then. Oh, no, not ready to harvest yet, anybody? Okay, maybe tomorrow. Good morning, Henry and Benry. It's been forever. Watering these. Boop. Boop. There we go. Man, I could not imagine waking up at 6 a.m. Nope. Man, I was so happy that my 9 a.m. class didn't meet today. Oh, man. My teacher told me that on Tuesday. Like, yeah, we're not meeting on Thursday. I was like, oh, thank goodness. I, I hate, I hate waking up for that class. But I have to. I have to. Amaranth? I think I have Amaranth. Oh, those- oh, huh. I didn't realize those were ready to go. Oh. Well, I do have a scythe. Cool! Okay, I know that Marnie wants some of that, so I will go bring it to her. I need some more seeds to plant right there. I hope I watered all of the grapes. I'm assuming I did. Let's see, how, 
many mixed seeds did I pick up, actually? I picked up an mixed seed. Danny went to D4. Yeah, we'll see what these all end up being, eventually. I'm hoping they'll grow soon. We haven't really seen much growth in them in a minute. Oh? <gasps> Here he is! It's the birthday boy! Hi! Hi, are you done trying to look for the babies? Do you want to come sit with me? Do you want to come hang out? Yeah. Come, baby. Baby, baby. Come sit with Mama. There he is. Everybody say hi, Eddie. Okay, yes. You can hang out right here. Hi. Oh. Okay, I'm petting you. Oh. How are you so cute? How do you do it? Tell us your secrets, huh? Oh, I see. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> I talked to him like this even off stream too. He's he's probably very, very sick of my bullshit. Okay, I'm petting. I'm petting. I love you too. I love you too. Maybe one day, one day we'll get like a cat cam going so you can see. How cute. And it's made all the time. Huh? Huh, birthday boy. Huh, birthday boy. Okay, we gotta water the corn. Have you seen your Stardew Valley counterpart, Eddie? I don't think you have. <laughs> so, when Eddie wants pets, um, and I'm not giving him any, he will just put his forehead like on whatever part of my body he can reach and just sit there. So... He just has his, his head planted firmly on top of my hand that I'm tr that I'm trying to play the game with, bud. Okay, quick pet break. Quick pet break. You're a good boy. Huh. Ah. Love you, Papa. Okay, let's go check on the mushrooms. Look! Look! Eddie! It's you! What are you doing? Good jump! <laughs> okay, are you done? Are you done? Are you done? You can go. Let me back up a little bit. You want down? Do you want down or what? What do you want? Oh, you want pets from the other hand. Left hand pets aren't good enough for you. You require right hand pets. Okay. Give you. I need. I need that one for the mouse though. The right hand is is arguably more important. Okay. Are you good? Okay. Can I can I go back to game? Can I please? Wah! Go back to game? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you really actually do want to hang out with me up here, huh? I'm actually very surprised. <laughs> Hi. Okay, yes, I'm petting you. I'm petting you. Look, it's you! Look, it's tiny you. Digital you. Look. Cute. And these are the cows. Good morning, ladies. <laughs> um. Ooh, we got some purrs going. Can you get? Can you give us some? Can you give the people some purrs, Mr. Edison? Huh? Anything? No. He ducks away from the mic. He's he's too used to this. He's he's sick of me. That's okay, buddy. I'll continue to play around you, I suppose. Cause it's your birthday, so you can hang out with me if you want. Oh shoot. Why are you licking the inside of my arm? Okay, 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 okay. He's trying to stand in front of my face. Okay, okay, babe. I get it. I get. I love you. Oh, I need to go put this back. I love you. 
Wow, he just really wants attention right now, huh? You good, bud? You haven't wanted really much to do with me all day, but now, huh? Now it is time for, for mama? Okay. <gasps> oh, that was very close to the mic. That was a good, high-quality purr, babe. Thank you. If you guys were wondering, it is it is uh, a little bit difficult trying to play a game with a 22-pound cat on your lap. Okay, goodbye! You're done now? Okay, see you later. Your dinner is in an hour and a half. And you know this. <laughs> okay. Let's go! Let's move on with the day. How is it already 30 p.m.? It's fine. No worries. Go give this to Marnie. Go give the driftwood to Leah. I think that'll be... Huh. That'll be a lot of my day done, actually. Go check the crab traps. Marnie! Um, here, you can have the really nice one. You can have the premium amaranth. For you. Oh, the amaranth I asked for. Thank you so much. My cows are going to love this. I wonder I wonder if I can feed that to Eugenie and Rumbus. Yay! Thanks, Marnie, bye. Okay, Leah, are you home? It'd be very convenient for me if you were home. Oh you hey! Do you have a kitchen in your house? I do not. Both both in real life and in this game. I got you driftwood. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Goodbye. Oh maybe I should talk to you more. You have more things to say? If you have a kitchen, you can cook all kinds of delicious meals. That is very true. Okay. Let's go check the crab traps. See if there's anything in them today that uh, is not trash. Wait, was it this? Th oh, hi! How are you? Vincent, yes. My mom's like making lentil soup tonight. Uh, hi, Penny. Oh, is a sad time of. Uh oh, I'm sorry. Okay. How much trash do you want, Linus? Twenty. Uh oh, I made a mistake in accepting this. Dump the trash in the recycling bin. Oh. Okay. I don't think that's going to happen, but you know what? Now I know that the recycling bin is there. I didn't know that before. Well, hey, well, maybe I can fish and see if I can't catch some trash. Elliot, would you like a shell? You are welcome. It's important to stretch your legs, man. Well, hey, that wasn't all tra- Oh, there's a shrimp. Shrimp. Shrimpy. Yeah, let's do a little bit of fishing. We'll see what happens. Got one piece of trash. Now I just need 19 more. Ugh. Didn't even see what the reward for that was. Let me check that again in a second and see if it's worth the effort. What do I get? It doesn't say. Okay. Oh, and I, I just need to get trash in general? Was it just saying trash in general? That was dumb. In the water. But it just says gather. Okay. We'll figure it out. It's all good. Oh, ah. Beep. Boop, boop. Yeah. Oh, oh. Come on, 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't be mean to me. Don't be mean to me. There we go. It's only active during trash quest. Okay. Oh, it's only active during. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. What? Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't. Please, please stop that. The thing that you're doing, stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Please, please be nice to me. Please, please, please stop it. Please stop it. Please. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Come on. Come here. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. No. God. Waste of a good cat, so mean. Boop boop. No? Nobody? We're done? Okay. Alright. Let's go back this way. Let me look in people's trash. <laughs> See if that counts towards this quest. I know George's trash can has a tendency to have, like, glasses in it. Oh. Hi! Hi, Clint McElroy! Well, it doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop room. Okay, cool. Can you go inside so you don't see me do this? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, okay. Acquire eggplant for potion making. Eh. Oh, plumb. I think that's what that is, is a plumb, right? Plumb. That's where he said I can go down the road. I'm gonna go down the- nope. I'm gonna go up the road. <laughs> This is weird. What's this? Oh, it's his basket! Oh no! My inventory's full. What can I get rid of? What can I get rid of? What can I get rid of? Algae! Goodbye! Linus! Linus! I found your basket! Linus! Linus! I don't know what you were doing all the way over here, but I found your basket! I hope I can talk to you at 9.30. If not, it's understandable, I guess. Oh, Sebastian, hi, how are you? I was up until 3 reading this new book. Do you read? Um? Sci-fi and fantasy. Oh, yeah? Well, did you read the Cave Saga X? I, I won't spoil it for you, but oh man. I said a, I said the right thing to you for once? Does Linus have tech tips for us? I don't think so. Gonna go out on a limb and say no. Hi Robin, hi Demetrius, how are you? I'm gonna go see Linus, bye! Okay. Linus, I found your basket. Please be here. Because if you're not, I don't know where else you go. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, inventory full. Makes sense. Okay. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Basket. It means a lot to- Oh, No worries, man! Oh, I guess that's just gone now. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say this particular Linus does not have any tech. Big Bird. Any tech tips for us? That startled me. Okay. Let's see what I can sell real quick. 
and then take a quick break, I think. So amaranth, you, and eggy. Let me make sure that the kidnapples don't want any of these. Nope, they do not. So you, and 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 you. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have done that. That's fine. It's fine. I don't, I'm not getting that full thing. Achievement done anyway. Um. Oh, I keep taking the... Shoot the... What, what can I even shoot the bird with? Also, why? <laughs> okay cool that ain't half bad day 13 that's a good day lucky day come on let's go oh it's raining morning eddie meow okay what are my vibes neutral okay all right okay so really quickly i am gonna go <laughs> Stretch my legs and use the restroom. It's a spy drone for the government. They're spying on your farm. Oh, no! Oh, yeah, that's right. Birds aren't real. They're just all all government drones. Oh, man. Okay. All right. So, yes. I am going to be right back. See you in a minute. Hello. Yes, I return. Uh, and I'm glad that the delay is kind of okay, Pawn. Um, I was going to say, I did check, and it looks like my um, my internet has kind of stabilized itself a little bit. So if you are experiencing a bad delay right now, 
just refresh and hopefully that will help. All right. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, hi, Marnie. Good morning, Miss Samire. I came by to ask you a favor since you're such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello. <gasps> you can do that. But they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you would bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9 and 5 with a cave carrot. You'll make an old girl very happy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Dear neighbor, when I'm not taking care of animals, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this. For pale broth. Thank you, Marnie. Very nice. How are you doing? I've enclosed some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes. Sashimi! Thank you! Yeah, I might do that. Yeah, no, is nobody good to harvest today? Nope. Oh! All of these guys are! Woohoo! Yeah, let's go! Let me see how many rocks I have. Well, actually, let's go. Let's spend. Let's spend a day at the mines. I'll go drop off some stuff, clear out my inventory. We'll go spend a day at the mines. I'll go check on the babies first. Cause I do think I need some more rocks for my big barn. Um, I think that I have. Let me double check, Cerise, One second. Um, that's the crops one. Um, yes, it looks like I have. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to... I just, I would just like the ability... I would just like to close that. Thank you. Good morning. Eugenie. Rumbis. Love you guys. You're doing great. Proud of you. Actually, I'm going to hold off on that for a second. I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. <laughs> okay, be good, you guys. Let's go see Henry and Benry. Oh, I'm still playing Spotify. Oopsie. No, stop that. I was like, why is there piano? That's why. Okay. Oh! Marnie's request. Gotcha. Well, we can go do that today. Because why not? Hi, Henry and Benry. Are you guys mad at me? Oh, no, they're mad at me! I'm sorry, did I forget to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry! No. Sorry, I'm sorry. Here you go. One, two, three, four. You guys are doing great, though. I still love you, I'm just forgetful. Sorry, bye. Okay, let me drop some stuff in a box. Boop, 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 boop. Wonderful. Okay. Now let's grab some stuff. So I am going to need cave snacks. I think the cake is in the other one. I'll take the fancy milk. You can go away. Um, you can go away for just right now. I don't think I'll need the watering can for right now. Okay. Let me grab supplies from this other one. And then we'll hit those mines. Got cake. I got gold milk. Oh, and bug meat. Okay. I got sword. I got... Okay. Cool. Let's go. I'm gonna spend a whole, a full day at the mines and hopefully make decent progress today. I feel like I say that every time though. <laughs> oh, I don't need the bait. Get that out, out of here. Oh, do I have the hiccups? Pickaxe, hoe, sword. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't know why I would need a scythe for anything and I can usually, I can still like hit stuff with the axe. Okay. So. At. 
<laughs> Sword. I'm gonna keep the fishing rod just in case there's like a cave, uh, cave water, cave lake. Oh, bait! Put the bait back. I'm already running out of chest space again. Okay. Oh, bomb! Okay, I think that's everything here. Oh yeah, I need 200 rocks and I have 100 and some. So hopefully, the rocks that I mine today will be enough to build a barn. Because we have everything else. We have the money and we have the rock, the wood. We just need the rocks. Alright. Scythe is good if you're using the beginner sword. Yeah, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I got the, got my cutlass. About to achieve mass production? Ah, maybe. At one point. Okay. Here's hoping for a uh, slightly successful trip to the mines. Usually I would pick that, but I want my inventory space. Thank you. I would go buy that other pack from Pierre's, but that it costs so much. Highway robbery, I swear. Oh, wow! Oh, I just need to go 10 more levels to get to level 40. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't bring any torches, did I? Oh, I need to make a torch dish. Okay, wooden. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Oops. It's... Nice. Oh, oh, rock zombie. Rock. Are you done? Are you done? Can you please be done? Can you please stop? Thank you. Ooh, geode. Very nice. Two geode. I do want these rocks. Thank you. I forgot. I re I genuinely forgot about torches, and that's on me. Oh, is that the yes? Yay! Oh, come here. Yeah, I did. I did not think. Uh, about the torches. I'm gonna say I'll remember for next time, but no, I won't. We we all know that I will not. <laughs> oh! Wow! Okay, chugging along. Oh. No! No, 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 no! Sorry. Oh no, another one! Hey, 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 hey! I can swipe a lot faster than I thought, I suppose. Sorry. Thanks for bug meat. Also, I don't know why I apologize to ever to most things that I kill. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. No, don't do that, please. Thank you. Sorry. It's just a weird compulsion to apologize. Violence. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. Um. Yep. Oh, what? It's bat. No. Oh, and a zombo. No, 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 Oh, wow! Rin, hello! And Kira! Oh my goodness! Hello, everybody! There's the lot! Double raid! Sorry about the weird overlapping audio, but hello, hello, everybody! Thank you guys so much for the raid! How are we doing tonight? Uh, if anybody in that in the raid has not met me before, my name is Sumire Hanaki. I am a former forest princess, current owner of a very fat cat, and it is my cat's birthday today. It's Edison's birthday. Um, but we're mostly just vibing and playing Stardew today. Hello, Rin! Hello! Thank you guys so much! Hello, hello, hello! Yeah, we're just, we're just vibing and playing some Stardew. Where's the exit? I would like to leave, please. I would like to leave, please. No, what, what'd you guys play today? 
Rin and Kira, were you doing a collab together, or was that weirdly act? Just was that timed really well? Why can I, why can I not leave? I would like to leave. I would like to. Oh oh oh! Found it. Bonk. There we go. Pet the cat for me. I will. Where are you, Lova? Oh, he's hanging out outside. He's asleep. As he is most of the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm really regretting uh, not getting torches, and I wish there were some torches on the walls that I could knock off, but... What can you do? Oh! Grinding on Destiny 2. Oh, fun. I have never played Destiny or Destiny 2, and I barely understand it. I have the, lo the loosest grasp <laughs> on what it even is. Oh, so Rin and Kira, you guys just both raided me at the exact same time unintentionally? That's so funny! Played Hades? Oh, fun. Oh, man. I love Hades. I want, I want to pick it back up. Uh, but I play it on my Switch, so it's not really anything I could play on stream as of right now. Especially because I, I have a Switch Lite. Because it's one that I can play from bed and it was cheap and I really, really, really wanted to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> Oh, Pun, thank you for the Nya redeem. One second while I put that up. Uh, for people in the raid who have not seen this before, um, that redeem means that I now have to say Nya at the end of all of my sentences for the next five minutes, Nya. And I will try to remember Nya, but no promises, Nya. I just do my best, Nya. Okay, Nya. I would like the exit, please, Nya. Exit, please, Nya. Well, there haven't been any, like, Enemies, though. Yeah, that's nice, yeah. Oh, eh? Eh? Can I have an exit, please, yeah? Please, 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 yeah? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really annoyed at myself for not bringing torches, Nia. Ah, Nia. Huh? Huh? Oh, there's a whole thing right here. Oh, no, Nia. Oh, no, Nia. I might need to go. Yeah. Can I get- I can get it via a uh, Game Pass on PC, so I'm debating on Hades, Nya. Kira, it's so good, Nya. <laughs> it's so fun. Um, if- if you like, um, like Binding of Isaac and stuff hey, like that, Nya. 85% <laughs> bless, 70% cursed, you sigh. Good job, Nya. Why Nya? Oh, there's even more over here, Nya? I would like to leave, Nya. Hmm, yeah. What do I need to do? Are these torches, Nia? Blood and sap, Nia. Is it worth it going back home and coming back here? I don't think so, Nia. Huh? Huh, Nia? Here, Nia? Nia, 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 Nia. Oh, there's a whole other thing over here, too, Nia! What, Nia? <laughs> there's so much, Nia. Can I knock a lantern off the wall, please, Nia? I wish I could, Nia. That's okay. That actually might be the end of the line on this one here, Nia. Oh, Neo! <laughs> That's very true, Exceed! Uh, let, me go, let me go up here, Nya. Uh, go. I could probably run home for a second and come back, Nya. Oh, I am almost out of energy as well, Nya. Let's see, do I... Uh, I don't know if I want to use the cake yet, Nya. I don't know, but what am I saving it for? Yeah, didn't I talk about this in another stream recently where I just, like, save stuff and don't use it, Nya? Where I'm like, oh, I'm saving it, Nya. For what, though, Nya? Saving it for a rainy day, Nya, but it's, like, literally a rainy day right now. Right now? <laughs> right now, Nya. Uh, do I have here? I do, Nya. I require that, Nya. Thank you, Nya. Go ahead and- Uh-oh, I didn't want to do- Uh-oh! Oh, Nya! Oh, no, Nya! Oh, no, Nya! Oh, no, Nya! Didn't want to do that, Nya. Yeah, just the other day in Deltarune, Nya. That's what I thought, Nya. Let me make some torches. Okay, Nya. We'll go... Do do Nya. I got a bat wing, Nya. Bug meat, Nya. I did get a decent amount of geodes, Nya. That's nice, Nya. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I will run. I think I will run back over there, Nia. Let me let me consume field snack, Nia. Consume field snack, Nia. Nia. Oh, ah, Nia. Okay, yes. So I like to eat that now, Nia. I like to eat this now, Nia. Thank you. Uh, actually, no. It's probably not a good idea to go back, Nia. I'm gonna get lost and or trapped like I have before, Nia. Oh, I didn't get any of these here, Nia. Oh, it's pur purple mushroom. Purple mushroom. The kidnapples want this, Nia. Kidnapples! I have this for you, Nia. Let me see if I have enough rocks as well now, Nia, so that I may acquire goats. <gasps> Yay! Oh, we do have enough, Nia. I have more than enough wood, too, Nia. All right, yeah. Okay, let's go give the this purple mushroom to the kidnapples, Nia. Okay, Nia. Yeah, probably for the best I didn't go back there, Nia. We'll see what the vibes are like tomorrow, Nia. Oh, shoot, when is that festival thingy, Nia? Oh, still two more days. Oh, it's Abigail's birthday, Nia! Oops, yeah. Oh, and the curse is lifted and I am free. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. I have brought a mushroom for this. It was the... this one? Yes. Even though I don't really care that much about Demetrius. It's all good. Oh, there we go. Wow, it's dark. Hey, Sebastian, where are you going? Would you like a mushroom? He would not, I don't think. I don't think that he liked that. Where Where are you? Oh, he, I don't think that he liked that. Yep, he, he actively disliked that. Okay, I should just stop trying to give uh, gifts to Sebastian. He sucks? Sebastian? Do I hear Cerise? <laughs> Don't let Cerise hear you say that. Okay. Let's go. Over here, please. We'll sell some stuff. Eh. No, it's fine. I married him also. <laughs> it's like how I say I can, I can insult Copia as much as I want. <laughs> Alright, okay. Put some stuff in here. Oh. Let's see, is there anything I can get rid of over here? Oh, this needs to go back with the with the ladies. I do need to get rid of that carving knife. I do need to go sell that. Okay, I think that's it for right now. Um I'm gonna put you back. Okay, and then the rest I'll hold on to just in case we go back to the mines. But I do need to go give the, the pail back to the cows. Hi! Yijini is trying to sleep. Her eyes are open. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Don't mind me. Bye bye. Bye, Rhombus. Well, I should say I should say it says that she's trying to sleep, which you know I can relate to. Most nights I also spend a little bit trying to sleep. All right. Hey, Eddie. Okay, let's 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 hope for some some good vibes in the morning. Because now I have torches. I did it this time. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. Come on. Very happy today. Hell yeah. Mining day. Mine. Oh! Pretty. Oh, more berries. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to water all of these. It's not raining today. 
Yeah! Okay, I think that's... Oh, are you ready to go? No, not yet. Oh. No. Hm. Okay. Oh, my watering can is in the... in here. Okay, let's water these really quickly, and then we'll go to the mines! Oh, Henry or Benry, are you stuck? Okay. <laughs> are you Okay, there they go. I kind of wish they kept up the habit of frantically running back and forth, the chickens. It was very funny. I still don't know which one of them was doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and just assume that it was Benry. Because, you know, that tracks. A D. Meow. Wonderful. These are all pumpkins, right? I, I would like these pumpkins. Please, thank you. Pumpkins. Let's see. Okay. Boop. 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 Very nice. Ah. There we go. The falling leaves are so pretty. I wonder what kind of a, like, how much of a random event that is, like how often that happens. I've also entirely forgotten, like, what this thing is up here. It's a special secret we will all find out together, I guess. Okay, everybody's watered. So that means you can go back in here for a minute. That wing I don't need. Okay, carving knife I won't worry about right now. I'm out of space in here. Um, do I want to go take the geodes to Clint McElroy? It is only 9 a.m. Hmm, sure. Dump these in here. Oh, it's an ancient fruit. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I do remember kind of getting that at one point. Kind of. It's been a second. <laughs> okay. Clint McElroy. Oh, what's, what's on the bulletin board? Okay. Looking for someone to bring me 30 copper ores to aid in the understand- oh. I should have 30 copper ores. Let me go back and grab those, actually, since I'm already on my way over to Clint. Isn't this how it always goes? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go directly to the mines, and then I get sidetracked by things. Oh. Give me the other one. I guess. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of copper ore. Let's go. I should maybe work on getting those made into bars. Oopsie. It's fine. Oh shoot, if I was smart I would have grabbed uh, the, the wood and the stone so I could go talk to Robin, but I am not smart. It's fine, I'll get her, I'll get her tomorrow. Oh, but no, tomorrow's the event day, isn't it? Oh, nope, okay, we still have one more day. It's fine. It's good. It's fine and it's good. Hi, Lewis. How are you doing? Bye. Did I accept that? I'm an idiot. I didn't accept it. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, no. I'm wasting so much time because it takes me forever to walk anywhere. Ah! It's pathologic all over again. Oh, no. There's a reason I've never personally played Pathologic. It's because my organizational skills are garbage and that would absolutely demolish me in that game. You need to know exactly what you're doing at all times or you will die. Whether your death will be quick or slow is kind of up to what how poorly you're doing. 
Hi, Clay McElroy. Coffee. Coffee for what? Alamite. Malachite. Limestone. Interesting. Okay. And then you, you wanted these, yes, sir? Oh, shoot. Okay, gotta go around. Here. This makes me depressed? But you wanted the... You wanted those, right? Th they have to be ones that I collect? Clint. Clint. My dude. My man. Come on. Yay! What'd I get? Coffee make you walk faster? Oh, that makes sense. I got a painting. Cool. Alright, well, I guess I'll clear out, go back to my house, clear out the inventory. Where do I even get coffee, Pond? I don't think I've encountered coffee at all. Would I buy it from, like, maybe the Joja? From Gus. Oh. Yeah, I haven't been in that saloon in, like, months at this point. <laughs> Hi, cows! Alright, let me, yeah, let me go clear out all this stuff and then we will actually go to the mines, I swear. I swear that we will. Most people go at least once a week. I just get caught up in doing other stuff, which is like the story of my life. I just do other stuff and forget about, you know, socializing things. You and you come with me. You get out of here. Um, you I'll put in there for right now. And then the rocks can go in the box. Box rocks. Okay. Oh, and milk. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have sold that. Dang it. Okay, that was... Eh. Fine, I'll go see Robin real quick. Robin, please be home. Really quickly, what's what's your business hours? What is your business hours? Five. Okay, I think I can get there by five. Neon, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Robin, I require a big barn so that I may have goats. I would like many goats, please and thank you. Robin, please be here. Please, 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 please be here. Yay! Hi! I would like... Big barn. Build. Select a barn to upgrade. Wow, I wonder which one. Yay! Okay, I'll start working on your barn upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Thanks, Robin. Bye! Yay! We're gonna have a new barn soon. Exciting. I now have no money. But it's worth it for goats. I will do most things if I get to see a cool goat. And all goats are cool. Do I still have a little dagger? Nope. Okay. Alright, let's go! Alright, I just want to get to level 40. That'd be pretty darn cool. All right. Oh. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, this is going to be interesting for me to try and balance all of these things. Oh, not axe. The other, the other, the other one that has axe in the name. Hey. Oh my gosh! Please. There we go. Will these stay down here and they'll be here like next time I come? That'd be neat. If not, it's okay. I have like a ton of supplies to for this thing. But can I get the exit, please? 
Can I please? Exit? Exit. I would like to leave. I would like to go. Exit? Exit. The exit. The exit? Exit, please. I would like to leave. Please and thank you. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Oh, wow, and sure now this floor has torches I can steal. Where were you yesterday? Ah! No. Sorry. Okay. What's this? Oh, topaz, neat. Oh, no. Okay. Oops. Okay. Ah! <laughs> so I just saw like the little poof and I thought it was a, a zombie coming to get me. Well, that's a bat though. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're doing okay so far. Not too bad, not too bad. I probably just jinxed it by saying that though. <gasps> Ooh, pretty. Gimme. Yeah. You know, I will count my blessings in that I have not seen those dumb bugs. I hate those bugs. The little caterpillars that come and kill me. I hate them. We are not friends. Oh, wonderful. Okay, okay, can we get two more floors done in the next little bit? Ah! Don't do that, please. Thank you. Hey. Hey, chill out. Thank you. Um, let's see what we got. What we got over here? I'll put you. Oh! We got a Zambo! Stop that! Okay, I would like you, please, thank you! Oh. Oh. Well now, why is this happening? Why does this happen from time to time? Where, like, the, the, the air gets all weird and stuff comes to kill me. Are you guys good? Stop it. Please stop it. I'd really appreciate it if you would stop it. Thanks. Oh my god. Hey guys! Guys! That was the wrong thing. Calm down! Chill out! I'm not even doing anything! Guys! Alright. Oh! Sorry. Oh! Hi! Sorry. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Also, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh exit! Yay! Oh, okay, one more, one more floor. One more floor, and it's 9.30. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! I'm gonna put you right here for a second. Bonk. Mm. <laughs> In there for a second. Cool. <laughs> Okay, maybe if I hit that with the axe, it'll actually give me stuff. Oops. Hi! How are you? Please don't attack me. I'm just trying to find the exit. Sorry. <laughs> okay, come on. I would like the amethyst, I would like the copper, please. Thank you. Cool. Alright. Okay. We're coming away with some good stuff, I think. 
Oh! Yay! Level 40! I did it! Woo! Okay. And I got a slingshot. You received a slingshot. Indeed, I did. What do I do with it? Requires st Okay. I'm gonna go home, but okay. But also, hey, I did it! I have to reach the bottom of the mine. Wonderful. Okay. Alright, let's go home and go to sleep. That actually might be it for this stream. Oh yeah, it's getting kind of late on my end here. And I, I do need to eat dinner still. But what else is new? Okay. Let me just make sure I got everything over here. I think I already grabbed the mushrooms out of the mushroom cave. Great job, thank you! Woohoo! Oh, inventory full. I know it's getting late! I know, I'm so aware! Get these. Get those later, I suppose. <clears throat> Finn, what? What's up? Hello, why are we shouting my name? Yes, what did I do? Let me just make sure that the kidnapples don't want anything here. Take better care. Oh no, um, I always eat dinner after stream. Like, usually my, my dinner time, because, you know, my sleep schedule is broken, uh, usually I, I eat dinner this late. Like, the, it isn't like anything out of the ordinary. I'm gonna keep that. Mushroom, mushroom. Okay. I think that'll be it. Okay. Let's see. Whoop. Please let me inside. Thank you. There we go. Wow, that was weird. Alright, and good night. Okay. Alright, there we go. Sorry, I'm trying to do something on my stream deck, but it is not doing it. It's all good. Okay, let's take a look and see here who we can raid. All right, thank you guys so much to coming to for coming to um, Eddie's birthday stream and this kind of impromptu Stardew stream. I've had a lot of fun. Um, see anything I need to remind people about? Oh yes, um, special interview stream Sunday, twelve p.m. PST on Saint Powers' channel. I don't know what he's gonna interview me on. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, and then for everything else, please join my Discord. Uh, I always post my schedule there. Or follow me on Twitter, which is um, at SumireHanakiVT. And I hope to see you guys soon. See, so taking a look at... Yeah, no, nobody I know really <laughs> is streaming. I need to start following more people to raid, but that is okay. All right, and thank you, Senti. Now I'm always happy to stream for you guys. I always have a good time. But we'll get ready to go. Uh, before I let everybody leave, Eddie, do you want to give them like a goodbye for your birthday? I love you. God, uh, I'm regretting that sound bite. It's fine. It's fine. Do you want to say bye though, Eddie? He genuinely looked at me and huffed. Wow, what an ungrateful son. Oh well. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs>